Hi, Shane here. You're watching Sam for God. And this is Mark. Check her out. <laughs> so, good morning, guys. It is 20 past 7 in the morning. 21 past 7 in the morning. I've got my time person here. Hello. On what's the date? It is Tuesday, the 13th of September 2016. And we are at Heathrow Airport currently in Weatherspoon. Yes. I'm with Rebecca, as you can see. And we. <laughs> To LAX. <laughs> Why for? What for? To go to the original Disneyland. I am so excited, guys. Like, it's been a dream of mine to go there for so long, and it's, it's, it's about to happen. We're going to be in the parks tomorrow, yeah. pretty much. It's just, We're going to have Disney property later on today. Yeah. It's insane. Uh, it's just like what dreams are made of, and obviously, <laughs> as always, they're coming along with me. I don't know how long this vlog's going to be, but it's me, so yeah. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Swimming, 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 swimming. Look how cute they are! It's gonna, be, it's gonna be good though, to be fair. I feel like this is a good purchase because yeah. I, don't, I, mean, I know it's a lot of them. I've got a pack of tissues on my back. Oh, do you? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, mine are Dobby ones. No, but I didn't have any and I thought. Oh, why not buy? Exactly. Eight packs of 10. <laughs> Who needs 80 tissues to go with their 60 paracetamol? Think. <laughs> I mean, I mean really? Hilarious. Does she need 60 pounds at all? <laughs> I've brought like, I think two or three packs. Let me, I think two and a half, I'd say. Because, you know, just in case, just in case I get a headache there. I just, I just enjoy my health too much, guys. And I feel like you should too. <laughs> and, and the snorting has <laughs> announced, commenced is the word. Food has arrived. I've gone for a vegetarian meal. It's quite big though. Eggs look nice, mushroom, hash browns, toast, corn sausages. You've got a full-on big breakfast. A large. You excited? <laughs> yes. Yeah. So that's our thing, guys. <laughs> Rebecca's very excited about it. Mm -hmm. You what have the details. Is it? it's, it's the double decker, but you've got the exact an Airbus something. Yeah, I don't. I like I'm just like. Oh, she's got <laughs> an Airbus. An Airbus A380. That's exciting. And Rebecca made sure to book us on the, uh, on the top, on the top deck. deck. Yeah, because you know, <laughs> that's like so to come yeah. 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 So that's kind of exciting. Of course, I've also got a C game of chess to play, hopefully. Yeah, Sam's gonna teach me chess. Yeah, it's gonna be exciting, yeah. I'll win. Maybe I'll actually win at something <laughs> That's true. against you, because normally you win, win at everything. You're gonna win when you get to Disney, aren't you? Yeah, I know, right, exactly. <laughs> These oh are the crowds, we'll see you on the plane. Hello, we are on the end. We'll say 380 on the upper deck, but it's weird because you can't tell we're upstairs. Yeah, I think, yeah. My well, dad did say, didn't he? I think yeah, he said, he said you can't just go Yeah, because it's just kind of... But still, we're upstairs. Yeah. Here Rebecca's it's a 242 layout. Dan says it's a 343 layout. It would be quite cool to have another two, though. I mean, I honestly wish I was so... I was just interested in planes. But it is cool. It's, the plane is pretty cool. Yeah. yeah oh, you've got really good seats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I'm so sorry. turns at the last minute. Yeah, true. Exactly. It could be a last but again. Yeah. There you go. Woo! Means I can vlog easy. Look, my arm can go anywhere. <laughs> We've obviously got these videos, but I only got this an hour ago. Um, pillows, yeah, yeah. screens. I mean, let's get. Um, there's so many films. We, have you checked out what films? You oh, did check yeah. out before, yeah. but I mean, like now I've seen. Oh no, I've only done this. Like, Give me a few of the examples that are going to be on. Zootropolis. Which she hasn't seen yet, which I'm so excited for her to see. I've seen it like yeah. three times, so I don't think I want to watch it again. But it is amazing. So the Dad's that's... Army film. Okay. Watching that, How to Be Single. Okay, go, go for Disney ones. Um, I think it was like Cars or Cars. I swear there was like Finding Nemo as well, wasn't there? Something else as well, maybe? I shall have a look. I really hope Cars is there because Cars is a Pixar film. It's probably my least favorite Pixar film of all time. A tied with Wally. <laughs> She's with all. And um, oh yeah, I've only seen it once. Section. Is it? Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. See, so guys. Right, here we go. Right. Go on then. Up, up, up. Wally, Bolt, Cars, Dumbo, Find Nemo, Frozen, Monsters University, Ratatouille, Toy Story 3. Ratatouille is one I've, I've, I've not. That's pretty cool. Was, was oh, Cars in there? No, oh, that's not on there. That's alright if it is not, don't worry. Yeah, but yeah, Cars is on there. So I'll probably watch Cars. To refresh my memory. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on board this British Airways flight to Los Angeles. Um, I have not seen Before making yourself nearly comfortable, 24 hours, please check that all your handbaggage is safely put away. Smaller bags which have been labelled should be put so under the seat in front of you. And all large, larger items should be placed securely into the overhead lock. This is the exit row or our first <laughs> <laughs> 
I love how excited you get. Must be completely clear yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's already been about two hours since we took off and it's, it's food time, it's first food time. I've gone 12. It's marvellous. And we got me and Rebecca both of the we have chicken there. I was going to have chicken cats curry. It's not, it's just a chicken curry, uh, which is nice. I mean, I only had breakfast like three hours ago. <laughs> well, have you done the past hour? Because I just slept. Yeah. Well, I watched an episode of Friends. Yeah, can you was... loll a lot the whole time? <laughs> <next> <laughs> to me? I've been watching loads I'm of my enjoying it, yeah. <laughs> I listened to Taylor Swift first. Okay. I had to watch an episode of Friends. I think it was like a series turn episode bad. It was when um, the full size I ought to pump that episode. That one. Okay. And I'm in the middle of watching Dad's Army. Mom, I've been out with Are you happy with your, your productiveness so far? Yeah, I've had some orange juice in the toilet. It's very nice. <laughs> to be fair, that really would have been nice. I've got some Sudoku as well. Oh, have you? Yeah. I mean, she, uh, she just got me down for just everything whilst I've just been sleeping. I think it's good. But I like it because two hours have gone without me even thinking about it. So that's a bit. They want me. We've been really busy here for about three and a half hours now. There's seven hours and ten minutes to go until we land. We just done a lot at all. Now I've just been I've just been browsing this thing to see what they have and I just saw this. German Casper Lee hit the road, which is fun. I've not seen it yet. Um, and I wasn't planning on ever buying it to watch it. I didn't want to pay for it, so I thought I might as well maybe watch it. But only after I get some sleep, so that's the potential. <laughs> Focus, Casper and Lee. I mean, Joe and Casper. Casper and Lee. <laughs> <laughs> Joe and Casper hit the road, which is weird because it almost feels like I'm just at home watching YouTube videos because that's what I normally do anyway. I'm and watching Sweet Chocolate. Okay, how are you feeling about this? So there was something when I laughed and you looked over. Yeah. Yeah, it? something with, it was when um, Nick was in it though, wasn't it? Oh, wait, was it the, oh, was it the baby? Was it the baby fox? If you haven't seen the shop this, guys, you need to. It's such a good film. Um, I'm halfway between this thing. You're about halfway, or a quarter of the way. Anyway, it is time one. for Kinder Eggs. Thanks, yeah. But not just any Kinder Eggs. They are ones. frozen ones, which is exciting. So we shall see who we get. Who do you want most? I'd like Anna. I want oh, um, oh, hard. I'm not hard. I'm sorry, Kristen. I want one to an open. Sorry. Yoo-hoo! <laughs> <laughs> Guys, how lucky. Look, I got Kristoff somehow. It's the one I wanted. He's looking very, very lovely. If it focuses, there you go. Cute! How many hours have you got left now, Rebecca? Like an hour or something. 53 minutes. Less than an hour? Just me. That's to say. I'm kind of watching cars, but I'm not properly watching it. But we've got our second meal out of the plane, which is a, some kind of short, small pizza. I went for a mozzarella one. And I've got chicken and basil. Marvellous. And I've got my own little disco. Cheap, she's made her own playlist. Playlist. It's hilarious. S Club 7, the ketchup song, kinky boots. What else was there on steps? It's just like chitty chitty boots. Look at that. That's a cute bag, man. Wait, I can't. Cookies, but there you go. It's just classic stuff. We're really in California. Oh, thank you. Oh, hello. Thank you. Sorry. Oh, this is amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. That was our coach. We are entering our resort, which is the Paradise Pier Hotel, an official Disney hotel. We've got, we're greeted by Goofy here. Hello, Goofy. And uh, that's the front desk registr registr registration, so let's go here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we're just very excited. <laughs> God. How pretty is that? This is so cute. Puppy. Yeah, that's really cute. Uh, I don't want to cut it. I know, it's too pretty. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> Is Mickey gonna pop out? Oh. Ooh, Can now the miss. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Oh, we just get these so for the lols. <laughs> that is so cute. <laughs> I love how happy we get about this. That is t that is amazing. They can't wait to see us. <laughs> Yay! We can't either. If we actually get out the envelope right here, yeah, and then I'll get my magic. This is so oh, cute. So <laughs> We've just been given balloons. Oh. <laughs> we can't believe the one with everything else. As if oh, this, this wasn't amazing. enough. We just, we've just like made our Thank you so much, and we've just arrived. Yeah, this is so cute. You can have the red one. Thank you. Oh, you definitely need yellow, by the way, because it's you're so you look at yourself and look at yourself like you're so yellow. You're, you're, oh, okay. Give me the yellow. At the perfect. I've got orange. Yeah, because last time I had a green magic band for Florida, and then I'm having a yellow magic. No, I never, I never. I no, <laughs> just don't get confused. Yellow, that was it. <laughs> no, I am very. Oh! That's so funny, look at this. Oh, this is so cute. I love it, I love it. We've not even gone into the room yet and we should be giving balloons and presents and, and excitement. It's just so cute. I, yeah, I feel very special as well. Oh, how cute. I love that they're black and white as well. And there's Anna and Elsa here. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, that's so pretty. Ever happens. Sorry, we can continue. The, oh, they'll be done. This yeah, is, this is, we've this just is been the most magical thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> you guys enjoy your stay, okay? Oh, we thank will. you. We thank will. you so much. Thank you. And so the entrance into Disney California Adventure will be <laughs> oh, yes. out. So you're going to enter through here, and I'll show you oh, how to get through there. Hotel. Then it's going to okay. be Disney Grand California Hotel spot. Cool. And right over here is the at the little grizzly peak that oh, you yeah, saw on my ticket. And this is our, that will be from our water rider. Moment of truth, go on. Oh, do you want to film the number? I'm forgetting our suitcases, on. let's just go in. I don't even, I'm going to leave. Yay! Oh, yay, you help! Oh, oh, it smells so nice and clean. Can I have, obviously, this side? <gasps> We've got a beach ball! We've got a beach ball. That's insane. I'm so glad we, oh, this is cool. This is cool. This, let's turn the light, are the lights on? Oh, are the ones here? How do we turn yeah. these on? Guys, this is so cool. Look at this little mini uh, Mickey there. This is a bed as well, this is a sofa bed. Oh, okay. But we've got a set there. That's got a cool. view of the Grand Californian Hotel. Oh, look at that. Is that a downtown Disney then? I'm no, no, that, no, oh. that's a... Let me just show it to them. We can actually see Tower of Terror from our room. That is insane. We both love it. Oh, you're so cute. This is so cute. Oh, we are so excited, guys. I don't look at I look at this. Oh wow, this is beautiful. Why are these curtains shut? Let me just let me just uh, zoom out because I don't even know what I'm filming. But this is this is amazing. Is this the Grand Californian Hotel? Yeah, it's the Grand Californian Hotel. Yeah, look at that. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, this is this is really cool. This is really cool. Look at this. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, wow. Oh, Grand Floridian in Florida is very similar to uh, the Disneyland Hotel in Paris and it's like very posh and like pink and castle and like I'm rubber. Gonna get our Go and do that. Oh yeah, <laughs> just le we've literally just left our suitcase that side and the door's just been closed because <laughs> we got too excited. I can't, I don't even know what I'm talking about. But yeah, the Grand Californian here is like a Sequoia Lodge themed even from the outside. So it's weird because you would expect it to be the, it's like the same style as Grand Floridian and Disneyland Hotel because it's meant to be the poshest one. But it still looks cool. Um, oh, right, uh, we are going to... Just, just enjoy There's this room for a bit. There's a more fun than a colourful beach ball and no better place to enjoy than here at Disney's Paradise Bay Hotel. Oh, that's cute. So the other guests... Oh, okay, leave the beach ball. Oh, people oh of course. Is that what I was saying? Yeah. I, I, there's no way I was going to steal this, but look at it. It's so cute. I'm glad we have a beach ball in here. Yeah, we are just going to kind of, I guess, chill a bit in this room and appreciate it and then head out to downtown Disney to have a look and eat because I'm hungry. Guys, I still can't believe the fact that I've got my name. We've got our names on our hotel cars. Like, that is insane. That's never happened to me before anywhere. And it's got the dates that we're staying here as well. Americanized. Um, this is my park ticket, park upper ticket for the next five days, which has a lot of on it. And this is our hotel, which is amazing. And this is the ball. And these are our balloons looking very nice and pretty next to our um, beds. And yeah, we are going to go out now. Oh, these are our pyjamas, Daisy, and Daisy and Minnie. And this is my bag of that I take with me. Pretty much everywhere I go when it comes to Disney okay, stuff. And this is Rebecca's bum bag, which she takes with her. 
whenever she goes to any Disney park herself. Yes. Marvelous. <laughs> so on our way to Downtown Disney from our hotel, we had to kind of go through the, the Grand Californian Hotel. Because all the hotels, there's only three hotels and they're very like, close to each other. And we just entered it and like, whoa, <laughs> look at it. There's a Grand Piano. See, because I was wondering how, um, again, because comparing it to like Grand Floridian in Florida and the Disneyland Hotel and Disney, Disneyland Paris, which are very like upmarket kind of posh uh, hotels. The fact that this one's themed more like foresty and stuff. I, I was wondering how they can make it look as posh and that kind of vibe with it because it's, it's called the Grand Californian. And now that I've come, I can see exactly how they've done it. Like, look at those big lamps. Because, you know, in the Disneyland Hotel and Grand Florida, they've got like really cute, beautiful chandeliers that look amazing. But this one looks amazing in its own way. It's got the Sequoia, Lo um, Sequoia Lodge vibe, uh, if you stayed in the one in Paris, Sequoia Lodge Hotel, which I really like, like a foresty vibe. Just a bit like more grand. <laughs> This is why it's called the Grand Californian. And I mean, the piano is incredible. Oh, this is amazing. I, I just, we're, we're coming here for breakfast in a few days. I'm so excited. So guys, this is basically my first impression of Downtown Disney. Firstly, I can hear somebody playing Harry Potter, which is amazing. <laughs> but it just feels very... Um, I can't explain it. Very, very chill. Like, it's just so relaxing. And I've only just stepped in, like, we've got Anna and Elsa's boutique here, Rebecca's vlogging over there, so check out her vlog later on. Um, that's alright. <laughs> Cat Alves, I mean, we, we, I think we've kind of thought of maybe going to Earl of Sandwich. Is that what you said, Earl of Sandwich as well, just now? Yeah, I think we've, we've, cause, oh, we don't know which way. Actually, we just gotta walk around, let's walk around, there's no need to. if it's not that way, then we'll go, exactly. Um, cause this, this downtown Disney isn't gonna be half as big as Disney World's. It's probably around the same size as, <laughs> All the same size as the Grand Paris. I love the, all the I love all the like um I guess I love all the fairy lights, yeah. I think that's what that's I think that's what if you had a room there with one of them balconies. That would be incredible. Is that part of the Grand Californian? Yeah. Oh wow, that would be pretty cool. Yeah, I think I think the, the, the lights definitely add to the atmosphere because as soon as I stepped in I'm like I, I just love it. It feels very LA. It feels very LA, yeah. I can't explain it. <laughs> It's amazing. It feels very California, let's put it actually. I love it. I love it. I'm just vlogging guys because it's a, new, it's a new experience for me, so this is gonna be a long vlog, like my Shanghai one, because it's my first time going there. I wanna get all my kind of first uh, first impressions of everything basically. <laughs> and hopefully you don't mind. But we've just got to the end of here so we know what to I love the atmosphere so much. <laughs> Do you know? I don't know what it is about it. Guys, the weather as well is really nice. It's like it's cool, but it's not oh this is good. This is good. <laughs> she just love how excited you Thanks. are. You're excited as well. We've just built on an emotional <laughs> journey. Let's think about over there looking a bit weird. But um, <laughs> she does look a bit weird. Yeah. Oh, it's like the art shop in Paris. Yeah, that's really. There's a bit of a situation going on, water situation. I'm loving all the um, uh, palm trees as well. Just again adds to the whole like Californian LA vibe of it. Yeah, LA vibe of it. I love it. Oh. oh. Yeah, there's tacos here, they've got tacos here and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, can I just, I think one of the reasons I feel really chill here is because it is just the people, it's yeah. chill, but also the people. Can yeah. you just, do you know, because it everyone's, is, everyone's said just like locals. Yeah, I told you, yeah, because I think California is mainly for locals and a lot of, a lot of people have annual passes for this park people rather than. just come here just for an evening. Now. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, exactly. Come here Literally, yeah, yeah, rather than like make it a full on holiday. I mean, some people do it like us, but, um, I think that, that again because you can Disney you can tell the people club. around us. Oh no, <laughs> memories from Disney World Florida last year. Oh, That's hilarious. Oh, I can smell popcorn. Is it popcorn? Yeah, I think popcorn it is. Uh, we've got the Lego store over there. Yes, yeah, so I think it's just the general vibe of it so far. I'm really liking it. Look at the Lego store. I know it's so cool. That's hilarious. But then Woody, they've got that in California. I mean, uh, Florida as well. We can do face painting. This, this is just so cool. This is amazing. We're just walking around and like admiring everything. I love this. We found that of sandwich as well, or record did over there. We've got downtown Disney vibe going on there because loving life. <laughs> Rainforest Cafe is here. Uh, that's the monorail entrance over there. Oh my god, guys. Also, so if I look tired at the moment, I haven't had many so much sleep really. <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca's like, well, no. We'll yeah, we'll look much better tomorrow. Once we've slept, we've had a good night's sleep. I've got contact lenses and beautify ourselves a bit. Yeah. <laughs> do, 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 do. I love sounds like beautiful with those uh, with those lights. So, guys.
guys, I went for the original, which is um, roast beef, cheddar cheese, and some kind of horseradish sauce. I also have some mac and cheese in there, which I'm really looking forward to having because I love American mac and cheese. What do you have, Rebecca? I've got a ham and cheese, ham and Swiss. You have to speak a bit louder, I'm afraid. Ham and Swiss. Thank you. <laughs> I just feel like the music's quite loud, guys, isn't it? So you might not even hear any of this, but it's good. Oh, no, don't make me do that. <laughs> But yeah, I'm looking forward to this. I haven't had a um, earl of sandwich in a very long time. In fact, I really don't remember when I that's, that's her. Let me, let me get mine out as well for you to have a look, just in case you know you want to see what it looks like. Okay, so this is my mac and cheese, which is amazing. I just love American mac and cheese. I'm sure it's going to taste as nice as well. And this is my food. This is my sandwich. Look at it. Oh, I have missed this so much. We've just been to the East Small World uh, shop inside Disneyland Hotel. And Rebecca's already had a wonder around myself in the shop. She's gonna take me somewhere else. She'll be to close my eyes. Close your eyes. Okay. Ooh, I'm scared. I'm really scared. Now, Rebecca, you can't. You... Okay. Okay, I can't walk as fast as you. I'm scared. It's really weird when you close your eyes. How, how much further? Right, just turn around. Which way? This way. Okay. Right, there you go. Open your eyes. That Dumbo's is amazing! Look at, look at Tinkerbell's one. Then you've got you've got a train going around the lake up there by the small world. Big fun. Oh, there. I love the dumb that like train there. Guys, this is water. amazing. It, that's the oh wow. Oh, Rebecca, that's so cool. That's a small world up there. And look, the we've got the mod for, Oh, done. It's gone. It's gone. It's here. Yeah, there'll be a light. There you go. I can see it. This is so amazing! Isn't it cool? That's so cool! Guys, look at this little area here with all this uh, old school Mickey and Disney memorabilia. So weird, like there's Pluto there, there's Mickey here, and Mickey Clark. Look at the clock though. You've got a mighty clock and you've And mine, and my Mickey clock. We kind of all match. Well done, high five Mickey. Oh, look at that, and that's Bob. Bob Main Oh, cool. Is that as in Bob, what's his name? Bob? Look at the castle! That's why I don't know, you just, just literally just noticed yeah. it. It's right in the middle. It's got my And is that meant to be Pinocchio looking very weird? Dick, is that as in like Dick Van Dyke? May oh my well god, maybe. I don't know. Well, there's just there's just so much going on here guys. This is crazy. We've not even gone to the parks yet. There's all the um dwarves up there. There's a really weird looking Peter Pan that I spotted up there. Just wanna show you. Is there? One second, I'm gonna come there. That's that's insane. Well, well spotted. That's Peter Pan looking very creepy. And then this is Walt's name badge over here. Wow, and that's a very very creepy Mickey mask, like <laughs> what is that? Okay, stop vlogging now. Okay, I'm vlogging now, I reckon I'm supposed to keep vlogging. Because she's had a quick look and she's seen what's going on here. Oh wow! Loads of cute... cute. Yeah! I'm They're lovely. And the carpet's just a castle. Oh, this is amazing! <laughs> so that's the actual proper entrance, isn't it then, do you think? No. Oh, no, this is just the pool. This is just a pool, and you've got like this brand thing even for the pool. The Magic Kingdom. We've got a steakhouse. Yes. This is amazing, Rebecca. I mean, goals, life goals are now to like come and stay in all the hotels here as well. <laughs> I need to live longer than a normal person does, an average person does, to be able to fulfill all my Disney dreams. <laughs> Which way, that way, or this way? Okay. Um, we've just been told that we can go say hi to Goofy because he looks amazing over there. Hello, Goofy. How are you? <laughs> You're right. <laughs> I love your hat. Have you been cooking up like nice meals? Yay! <laughs> You're right. Oh wow, well, it's like it's well, I've smoked a lot of it and everything. Uh, oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Goofy, I'm a terrible cook. I wish I could, I could, you know, I could think as good as you. Yeah. <laughs> This is so cool! Okay, <laughs> guys, what the hell just happened? I don't even know. So we're just in the Disneyland Hotel, having a wander around. The lovely guy at the front desk, we just asked him about Goofy's Kitchen. We were thinking about, you know, we've already booked a few uh, tables and stuff, restaurants. But we're thinking maybe this could be our third reservation if we want to add in the third one. And then we spotted Goofy, or like the, the lovely guy was like, oh, Goofy's actually over here. And we're like, oh, that's cool. And I was like, getting really excited. And the guy was like, you can go say hi to him if you want to. And we're like, really? Wait, what? We can go and actually, we can actually go say hi to him, even though we haven't booked our table or anything. We're not eating there tonight. We still got to go and say hi to Goofy. And we've like met Goofy without even saying anything. We are walking towards uh, World of Disney, which looks amazing. This is a sign for it, but that's a bit like, don't look at that. 
That's the main entrance. Because <laughs> Lolly, that's the main entrance over there. So we're going to get to there. Just have. Do you want to tell them what you just bought? No, I don't really want to. <laughs> <laughs> I was we did get some free gifts for the Disneyland. Which is really nice. If you want to learn more about those, watch. Uh, are you going to do a haul video? I'm going to do a haul video. So watch my haul video. Well, you never know. Just watch watch videos that will be linked down below. Oh, look at Kylo Ren. I don't even know what's that because I don't really care about Star Wars, but that's cool. Um, that's really cause again. The vibe is, is really cool here. Um, yeah, I'm excited to get to Walt Disney and have a quick look. Um, and hopefully not buy anything. <laughs> hopefully not buy anything. Yeah, I know. I accidentally spent more than I thought I should on pins. Since when? Uh, it's a good thing that I maybe I should not start a pin. Okay, let's just go in. Oh, look at all the Halloween stuff. Hi there. Hi there. Guys, obviously we're in September at the moment. Today's the 13th of September and they've already started the Halloween stuff in Disneyland because America is big on Halloween. So, <laughs> big. So you can see all these cute like the Halloween, Halloween stuff. They're cute. And I like... There's some pennies by the door. Oh, okay. <laughs> and we're going to go there in a second and have a look. I do like this mini. It's cute. I love these. It's very cute. I mean, we, again, we've not been in the parks yet. So when we get to the park, it's going to be insane. All Halloween thing. It's going to be feel very, very weird, I think. That's cool. The calendar thing is massive balls. Um, what's this meant to be? Again. Oh, well, that's cute. Aerial topper as well. Some Halloween stuff here. Um, yeah, World of Disney here is beautiful. Again, it just has a similar kind of feel to it as all the other World of Disney that I've been to in my life. I don't think it's as big as the one in Florida because in Florida everything is just overly big. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna have a quick look. This vlog is gonna be incredibly long, so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to end up, end up making it into two parts, which I hate doing, but it might have to happen. And if it does, you'll know because part two, the link for that will be down below. But um, yeah, just gonna wander around for now. Good morning, guys. It is our officially our first day in the park. We are currently walking towards Disneyland California, the original Disneyland. We've also both got our um, first visit badges which you can see mine's here records on her bum bag can you see it yeah um i am it doesn't feel real it feels very much unreal <laughs> same word in different ways but it just feels not like it should be happening like what we're going to disneyland california the real one the, the main one the real one the original one and it's very busy here it's currently about 10 to 10 in the morning um is it 10 to 10 <laughs> i just kind of assumed i've been looking at it rebecca said it's four minutes um and the park up is at 10 o'clock in the morning. So, you can see the crowds here. A bit busy and uh, yeah, we are just gonna go in. I just, oh, I cannot wait. I'm wearing my uh, Fantasia hat. Rebecca's wearing her mini ones. And I've got like a Mickey, more. yeah, a team Mickey. Do you want me to do a... Yeah, actually, could you? This is it, this is my Mickey outfit. We've cool. got the Mickey situation going on from here. That's sad. Oh, there. <laughs> team, team Mickey, Mickey, my first day badge. My Mickey is. Um, this is Mickey. Line. Sam's outfit of the day oh, <laughs> with the foot sticking out and everything. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Sorry. Guys, we've gone through the kind of security outside, and now they're playing Toy Story, which makes me really happy. Um, you got a friend in me. Also, on the right, you've got California Adventure. On the left, we've got Disneyland. What? I knew everyone had told me that it's like a lot smaller, not smaller, but everything very compact in Disneyland compared to all the other Disney parks. But I didn't expect this. I thought it might be similar to like Disneyland Paris, for instance, because the distance between Disneyland and Disneyland California is like maybe a fifth of the distance between Disneyland Park in Disneyland Paris and both of the studios in Disneyland Park. In Disneyland Paris, sorry. Like, I can't speak because <laughs> Rebecca's vlogging there as well, so I'm getting confused. I'm like listening to her and talking to you at the same time. But that's insane. Look. What? Everything's so close. Every, even the hotels that we were checking out last night, the three hotels I've got there are so close to each other. Everything is so compact. I love it. This is what I like, guys. I love it so much. Right, we are up to obviously Disneyland uh, Park because that's the main park. <laughs> Why are you lolly? Uh, who just went to me went, Princess, you just dropped your smile. <laughs> are you serious? That's so cute. And then I probably like, looked down and I was like, oh. <laughs> Um, so because it's a ha because um, Americans celebrate Halloween much earlier than any other person does, <laughs> they've already decorated it with um, Halloween stuff, pumpkins. There's Goofy over there, Mickey, Donald. I mean, it's really weird seeing Halloween stuff in like the beginning of September, not beginning of September, middle of September. Today's the 14th of September, if you're wondering, guys. But it looks, but it looks really nice. Like Donald's looking cool over there. 
There's another goofy there. There's two, basically, same thing on both sides, I think, pretty much. Except Minnie's over there. Anyway, um, we are gonna go. Oh, this is cute. Guys, we're officially inside Disneyland. I genuinely am, I just don't believe that I'm here. It's one of those weird things because from a young age, when I was a child, I had this VHS. I've talked about it in other videos before, so you, it might be a reputation for you. But this VHS of a Disneyland sing along. Uh, it came out in like 1990, and I'm a 19. I was born in 1990, so I watched it when I was like three or four constantly. It was my favorite thing to watch when I was a child. And so I'd watch this Disneyland sing along video, and I'd, so I'm very familiar with all parts of Disneyland from back in the 90s. And now I'm actually going to see it for the first time properly. Actually, I'm not actually going to be here, and I am here. Like. It's insane. This is Disneyland in front of me, the entrance of it, as you can see. Um, it's like, Disney World's got this clock situation going on, Shanghai's got it, Paris doesn't, but Paris has the most beautiful clock ever by the Disneyland Hotel, so that's fine, because it's their own version of a clock and it's beautiful. But um, we're just waiting to get a photo here because you have to do that, there's photo pass people here, as there are in uh, Shanghai and Disney World. So, yeah, how do you feel, Rebecca? <laughs> yeah, I just can't, I just can't believe it, I really can't. <laughs> So we're just in the queue, guys. Ooh, that's all right. We're in the queue to get our photo pass uh, picture in front of the Disneyland entrance. And suddenly Rebecca spots Ariel just over there, which I'm going to show it to you. I'll be back in a sec. Ariel's just over there, chilling. Very random. Very, very random. Me and Rebecca were just lolling. We're like, what? We've not even gone inside the park yet. But Ariel's just there. There's hardly anyone around her. There's not very many people. Like, it's just, it's just, what? It's so random. Look. That's so weird. I've never seen that happen before. I've never seen how it's just the outside, like at the entrance of the park. It's really cute because they're kind of like, sort of like he's welcoming us to the park in a way. It's cute. This is it. This is it. We're on Main Street, nearly. Got the balloons. They're cute. Oh. Oh, this is so weird. Okay. It's got, a, it's got a Disney World st style to it at the entrance, I think, oh, yeah. is it not? Yeah, you go in from the sides, points. yeah, rather than in Paris, you go through the middle. Um, <laughs> the music! The, no the music that we're all used to is here. Like, the, the Main Street music. Oh, there's an American flag up there, of course. Oh, this is insane. Disneyland City Hall, of course, like they all have it in all the other parks on the left hand side when you first enter. Size wise, it's, it's, it's the same size as Paris, I think, would you say? Yeah. yeah. Be like, it's almost like I'm looking here and I'm like, oh, there's no gazebo, it's really weird. Yeah. Oh, the castle's gonna be so weird to see because it's quite. Oh, Aww, it's cute. It's, <laughs> it's kind of cute, you know? Cute, Let's yeah, see. But the Mickey's kind of almost as big as the castle, really, when you think about it. Yeah. But the distance from here to the castle is not much of a distance. It really isn't, is it? It's really weird. So we have just entered. We're queuing, guys, to get a picture with this. <laughs> because she's lolling at my screen. Guys, Mickey's just over there. He's just come out. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, can you see him? Can you see him? He's over there. Kind of. Minnie's there as well. We might go over to her later. Lisa's over there doing a meet and greet, and then Goofy's over there, and then this is just there's just so much going on, Rebecca. There's too much going on. We've not even done anything. We've, like, we've lit one, two, three, four. We seem spotted five. I mean, we saw Ariel just outside. Yeah. The most random thing ever. We've come in and at the entrance. I like that. But there's loads of cars just like yeah. here for the lols. Like nothing's happening. The main street, and we've not gone there yet, but it also looks very narrow, doesn't it? Like it's not much. Whoa. It's quite busy. It's quite busy, but it's probably because it's quite small <laughs> compared to what we're used to. Oh, guys. So guys, Mickey's now crossed over to this side of Main Street. As uh, so you can maybe see him just by the balloons over there. He's just talking to some child and stuff. And what I really like about it is, look how casual it is. Like, Mickey's in the middle of just that area. And people are just kind of casually looking at him. It's not like... Because if, if this happened in like Disneyland Paris or even Disney World, people would be crowding over Mickey immediately, like wanting pictures with him. And it wouldn't be as chilled as it is here. But like, this is very relaxed. Considering it's the main mouse as well, I'm surprised that everyone's just really relaxed about it. And I really like that, because it's almost like he just belongs here. It's like, it's like he's just one of the people like, living here, yeah. It's almost like he's not a, like he's just one of the people living in Disneyland. Walk again now. Oh, there's it. There you go. Mickey's just chilling there. And everyone's just like, hi. That's so cute. Aww. Oh, there's a horse. We're walking on Main Street USA, guys, now. The actual Main Street USA, because we're in the USA. <laughs> 
this is the first ever Main Street USA. If you've watched that VHS sing-along Disney video that I'm on about, look it up actually. I might leave a link down below so you can check it out because there, there must be videos of it. There's a song called, um, all the songs, a song called You All Know This Song. Step in time, step in time for Mary Poppins. That's the song that they sing, that's the sing-along song for this moment when everyone's like entering the park for the first time and walking on Main Street. It's weird, it's weird. It's quite narrow, the shops are around here. The music's the same as in all the other parts. It's beautiful. It's a good vibe. Again, I like the vibe. It's very chill. Also, I don't know how well you can see me because of the sun, so... Probably best now, hopefully. So, honestly, if I don't talk at times, it's just because I'm like looking around and having a little appreciation you moment. that's called Crystal Arcade, where, yeah, it's Liberty Arcade in Paris, that's Crystal Arcade. Oh, yeah! That's yeah. interesting. I'm trying to play Even though it's an actual... It's an actual arcade, I don't know. Um, yeah. Still walking, having a look at the shop. Ah, oh, my arm's so hurting. Let me just swap this. Penny arcade and the god of the lovers of penny machines in there. <gasps> <laughs> I'm collecting pennies here again, like I did in Disney World, Florida. Which I don't know why, but I just I'm a collector of things, so I thought I'd do it. Car walking past. This is insane. There's food there, candy. Esmeralda. What's that about? You see that? Yeah. Look at this. That's not Esmeralda, is it? Random. Esmeralda? What happened to you? This is literally my life, guys. Disneyland, Tokyo, what well, Disney World, Paris. Like which Hong Kong? Which of the Disney parks do I go to? Except Shanghai is missing from his because it's uh, a very new park. <laughs> How's Bert? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh. So guys, we just met uh, Mary Poppins, who's over there. She told us to have a very jolly holiday. Yeah. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, it's so did. lovely. It was the first, well, we met Goofy yesterday. Yeah. But I wasn't in the park. So today was the, in the park. First autograph and we didn't even well. know that she, she'd be here. No. We just randomly like, spotted her. Rebecca spotted her. Holiday cafe. I yeah. Knew that was and um, so Sam's filming me on my cam on my phone. Yeah. And then Mary goes, "Oh, is that your phone cover?" I completely forgot, forgot that, that she's got this. There. Look at that, as cute as this. And she loved it. Of and course she, she did. And she's going now. Look. That's so random. She just oh, she's walking um, with people. That's so cute. Um, yeah, she said that the carousel horse is called Jingles, and he's actually on the carousel here. Which well, is going to be amazing to go and yeah. Um, and as soon as we uh, finish maybe eating, they for a photo. oh, that's Sorry. cute, isn't it? Because she's not. taking pictures in front of the castle with them. Um, exactly, the castle is as well. What's really cute, guys, is that what's, what's quite funny is that as soon as we finished meeting her, we saw we just randomly saw Dr. Basilio. Oh, yeah, just, just randomly walked by. I'm like, hello. <laughs> I was like, what is going on? Yeah, it was random. Very random. The weirdest thing as well, as we were like, this is, this is what we noticed earlier. What's it called? The Orbitron? No, yeah, Astro Orbiter. Astro Orbit. It's just over there. The castle's just over there. And, and the Matterhorn's <laughs> over there. Everything is like very, very compact. Like, I did not expect this at all. I've been told this, but I, just, I still find it really bizarre, don't you? Yeah. It's just so weird because we've not even. That's the entrance of Tomorrowland, oh, just over I there. Don't just smell. Popcorn. One of our favourite smells. It's so nice. So nice. Um, it's nice I'm just sitting here as well, actually. Yeah. And who's over there? Oh, it's over there. I don't know what's going on there. But um, yeah, we'll see what the next place takes. We're just That's taking it very slowly, which is nice. So guys, we're about to go through walking to the castle for the first time. This beautiful, original Disneyland castle, which is here. Um, up until only about a week ago, they still had the 60th anniversary stuff on it. I'm kind of glad they've, they're gone now because it means that we get a plastic look of it. But um, this for me is honestly a dream come true, and it has been since I was a child, like I said. For me, I've always just kind of, I've always been so happy with Disneyland Paris because it's my home park and I love it, it's still my favourite park. But having watched the video and stuff, I always kind of wondered what it would be like to go to the original. And it's just like, now it's about to happen. Rebecca, yay! We're about to go and, oh, it's just weird. This is so cool. And then there we are, we're in Fantasyland. And the first thing I... So small, I know. The first thing I noticed is again how narrow it is. The fancy I know it's like everything, like my right hand side and my left hand side, are so close to each other. It's insane. They do have some square uh, things here, square trees here, which they do in Paris as well. By the castle, which I love. But look, this way to Tomorrowland, everything is so close to each other. It's a bit crazy. Right, right. There's no sword in the stone um, uh, situation going on like there is in, in Paris. Oh, it's 
I don't know. You can still go inside the castle. How do you do that? We can go upstairs or? I don't, you can, I don't know if you can go Okay. You can go in. Oh, interesting. Exit, right? Let's do that at some point, for sure. Property, property, boutique, you know, got oh, yeah. Time, like, That's cute. Stuff. I just, I feel like I'm in a, it feels like I'm in a, <laughs> it feels like I've shrunk because everything's yeah, so close does, to each other. Yeah. Everything's so close to each other. I feel like, what? What's going on? Am I in a dream? Because I'm just not used to things being so close to each other at all. Obviously, like I said, being Disneyland Paris being my first kind of park, Disney park I've ever been to, and my home park is what I consider mountain. Disneyland to me. And then Disney World is just insanely big, and it's just like, whoa. And suddenly we're here, and it's like, what? But you think about it, that's what Walt wanted. Walt Disney was here. He was alive. He was. He imagined this place himself, and it's amazing to be in here, guys. It really is. I can't explain it. That whale completely reminds me of that. That my childhood. With that video that I used to watch. Yeah, because I used to. Oh my god! And I remember I was going to Disneyland Paris as a child, and I'd be like, "Where is the whale?" And then it reminds me there's no whale. And some things that I would watch in the video, because for me, I just thought Disneyland Paris was Disneyland, yeah. and I just wouldn't understand why it wasn't there. But we're just going to walk around Fantasyland. To what colour were the horses in Disney World? Are they the same colour? Okay, because they're, they're all white here, aren't they? Um, Dumbo is literally like a, a, a centimetre next to it. <laughs> it's so random how close everything is. I love how the gym, uh, what's his word? The mouse. What's his, word? what's his name? I've forgotten. Yeah, he's at the top of it. Um, this is it, Rebecca. That's it, we've done Fantasyland. <laughs> we've just gone through It's just so small. It's insane. Right, where are we going? We're going to Toonland. Let's get to the park. Okay, we're trying to get to Toonland. It's small, that world is over there. Uh, we'll find a way. Oh, but, but I think, but I, I also think, Rebecca, I think you just queue outside. I don't think you queue, you queue inside. I think maybe it's just... Yeah, you just go down a little white. And then you're suddenly there. Guys, this is my beloved ride, it's small world. Looking quite different here than it does in uh, Disneyland Paris and Disney World. I love the fact that it's so popular. It's got all the queue. In Disneyland Paris, it's normally like a 10 minute queue max. It's cute though. I can't wait to go on it later, even though Rebecca's not a big fan of this small world. Just, you know, to compare, we have to do every ride. But, um, sorry about that. We're on our way to hopefully meet Mickey and Minnie now because I'm Mickey today and Rebecca's. What are you, Rebecca, today? I'm Team Minnie. You're Minnie. Um, so we really want to meet them in our outfits you before, want to yeah. before the heat defeats our looks. That's cute. The penny machine in. Oh my god, we need to, I haven't done any pennies today so far. I need to remember to do that. Oh, I saw some cool ones in our hotel as well. Oh yeah, and there was somebody else, somewhere else that we walked by and you said there's loads. Oh, um, no, it said penny arcade, but then I think it was more like penny arcade machines. Okay, so what's the population of Mickey's Toontown, Rebecca? Question mark, baseball, <laughs> lemon, rubber duck, Thank nail, seventy. Thank you for that, there you go. Roger Rabbit's cartoon spin. I love Roger Rabbit. Guys, we're just walking in Toontown now. It's so, so colourful. And apparently it's Rebecca said so they used to have a, a Toontown in uh, Florida. So when Rebecca went as a child, she went, she remembers it. Do you see Peter? Oh, yeah, Peter's over there. Oh, this place is so cute and colourful. I love the colours. It, it's like a little magical childhood land. I don't know. Beautiful. We've just entered Mickey's house, guys. We're about to go and meet the man himself. This is all his stuff. The mouse. <laughs> So cute. These are all his photos that he's got here. Oh, that's nice. Mickey's got good style, you know. I like it, don't you think? Nice little arm chain thing. Well done, Mickey. You've decorated your house nicely, I like it. And then you've got a lamp there, you've got a nice little old school TV. More Mickey stuff here. Photographs. There's me. It's cute. I've got like a Pluto, of course. That's good, is that the kitchen? Oh my god, that's amazing. That's so cool. And then you've got all this essential tea, you've got broomstick tea. It's awesome. Production call board. In production today, a Mickey Mouse cartoon starring Mickey Mouse. No set, except Mickey himself says, it's okay, come on in. Thank you, Mickey. Welcome, Princess. Have you seen Princess Ariel? Yes, Princess Ariel, we saw her outside, yeah. actually. Yeah. We have you flounder. <laughs> oh, well done. Ba bum bush. I'm just trying to get you hooked on me because I'm going to keep it real. But do you know who helped Ariel with her wedding dresses? No. Her father, King Triathon. <laughs> yes. 
Good. Look at this. Good. Uh, you must be a pirate because you have a cannon. I know that joke's a blast, right? Maybe we'll go planking together later. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, I love class members. Um, oh, look at that. It's Rebecca. Rebecca. There's a random carrots coming out. That's cute. Mickey's, Mickey's, this is Mickey's planting situation here. Oh, sorry, you can go in, it's fine. Um, uh, Pluto's house is over here. We're continuing Mickey's movie barn. Is here. So, let's see what we've got here. We've got a cake. We've got balloons. We've got all these chicken just popping out, which is hilarious. Hello, chicken. And uh, we're going to continue this adventure together. Oh, this is so cool, guys. Look, look, Mickey, you see, guys. Oh, can you see it, though? You'll see me right now. Stay there. Wait, wait for it. Can you see him? Mickey's in there. That's insane. Right, continuing. Oh, he constantly comes out and pops out in the mirror. It's a magic hero. We've got Mickey's Fantasia hat up there, which I absolutely love. Um, what else do we have for you? We've got photos of Minnie, of course, Pluto, all his outfits up there. And Minnie's got an outfit for him as well, which is cute. I'm guessing she just stayed over one night or something. That's cute, guys. Mickey's very uh, musical, as you can see. Hello. Sorry. Hot sex. Hello. 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 Oh, oh. Right on. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. He's in his like plantation oh, thing, but not in the hat. That's so cool. <laughs> I love the song from Fantasia. <laughs> I like all these little my bit my bio. I know. And the and the broomsticks up there. Oh yeah. That's cool. Hey, have you got a photo pass? Thank you. Nice to meet you. Is that the same thing? Yeah, that's you. Hello. Thank you. I love stars. Look. And they're all above you. Right here. <laughs> Mickey's it's the main star. star. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much, Mickey. The biggest star. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Eyes here for me. Alright, you're good. Eyes here. Cool, that's good. Thank you so much. So guys, we just met Mickey at his house over there, as you would have seen earlier, which was lovely. And just right next to his house, we've got Minnie's house, which is cute and pink and purpley and stuff. And that's a Minnie mailbox here as well, which is so cute. Mickey's got his own mailbox there as well, and if you can see or not. But yeah, I'm looking forward to meeting Minnie. I've missed her. So this is how Minnie's decorated her house. A bit different to Mickey's, very cute. Oh, she's a lover of magazines and stuff and books, that's cute. This is her old school telephone. Oh, I literally was about to take it and it, it doesn't do that. You can't move it. Got some cheese here, obviously using as a book situation. Cheese and remembrance. <laughs> Little mouse on the prairie, a doll's mouse. Cat on Umbrella is hilarious, the books are hilarious. Um, I love that though, guys, that's amazing. I love the curtains. It's amazing, guys. It's so cute. Well done, Minnie. You're going to get This is cute. I love her bedroom. Look at that. Nice. What a cute bedroom. I'd love to live in this room. Minnie, do you want to have me over sometime? Because I'd love to come and visit you. I mean, I'm missing you now, but maybe for a sleepover one day? That's a mirror. Like a star. Love it. All the perfumes. You know what that is? Cakes. And this is her kitchen, we're, going, we're entering her yeah. kitchen now. And then I'm going outside, so... Yeah! Yeah! Random. Yeah. No? I mean, that's hilarious. These are cookies, we've got candy here. And what else do we have here? We've got the tea. We've got a tea cup here. Shout out to my friend Lisa because she loves tea. Lisa, you would love this. This is very, very cute. I love the rose as well. I love the kitchen, in fact. Oh, look, there's a recipe for like making cake and stuff. Um, of course, she would have a magnet of Mickey, cheese small, bread, everything here. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, what is that? The cakes is being made there. Like, if I had a kitchen like this, I would be more willing to spend time in my kitchen and actually cook things and bake things instead of doing that normally. Oh, wow, the fridge opens. Does it? What's in it? Do you want to go have a look? Aww. I didn't even realise. They've got the big cheese, cheese chip. 
Oh, that's a left, and that's a toaster over there. Hi, Winnie. How are you? Oh, I love your girl, I love your outfit, you're so cute. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> She's so glad you came and saw her. Thank you so much. Alright, big smile. Looking good. Alright, perfect. There you go, that's cool, thank you. So we're up in Opio's village house uh, in Fancyland and I've ordered some chips and a cheeseburger which I'm very much looking forward to. I've been hungry for a while. Rebecca's got a special barbecue pulled pork flatbread. Which is only available for Halloween. Cards, onion, looks and awesome. Yeah, and she also got to sell some more extra chips because the chips here are really nice and they look like the ones from uh, Florida. I've not tasted them yet, but the ones from Florida are really nice. They're really, really nice. Guys, it's time to go on our first ride of the day and the holiday, which you somehow... We haven't been on the ride yet! No, we haven't! And we've had loads of fun already! I mean, we've met loads of random characters and from yesterday even we met a goofy. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, it's small world. Okay. Are you excited, Rebecca? <laughs> oh, uh, I'm just so happy that she's agreed to this for the first to go on it, you know, for this to be the first ride. Yeah, because our tradition used to always be Space Mountain, it'd be the first Which ride. I never liked, and I just went along with it, because yeah. I, I just was like, oh, everybody else wants to do it. I think it's Look at this. It's had cute. Such a small... Extra magic hours. Yeah, in Paris normally we used to go. <laughs> See, like, like even here, once the queue was outside. Look at it. How long was the queue? Did it say? Did you read it? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, and they've got like two loads of things. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is my first like experience with Small World, but I watched it on. VHS video. And I'm about to go on it. I love the music, it's so cute. <laughs> it is weird that most of the queuing is outside though. Yeah, it's so weird. Because even in Florida it's still is. Yeah. Oh, it's so nice, it's so different, it's so weird, but it's the same thing. There's a random. Yeah, they seem a bit narrower, maybe. Yeah. There's a horse there, yeah. That's cute, in the shape of a... Oh, so I thought you meant this oh. one. That's a moose, that's a horse. Uh, there's some other animals, there's a giraffe over there as well. This ride, this particular ride, this actual ride that we're on right now, was Walt's favourite ride ever. Because this was his favourite ride, but obviously he only was this was his first ride, this small world ride, this original ride, this small world. So it's amazing. Now we're about to, we're about to experience Walt's favourite actual ride. Oh, yeah. I love the hot air balloons. Yeah. 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 
Cinderella. Oh, that's Cinderella. Guys, we don't have Cinderella over there. With the mice. Yeah. Oh my god, that's so cool. Yeah, it's, it's cute. It's 
quite it's very unique they do that yeah I, it's definitely my second favourite after Paris I prefer it to Disney World um, it's cool do you wish that Paris had the little bits of Disney characters everywhere yeah I think it would be yeah. nice it's not like a, I desperately want it but yeah I think it's kind of nice that it's just here you need to hear it yeah, yeah but it's, it's, it's very very cool mm. How cute is this, guys? It's a, like, like a, it's a small world little shop outside the shop. Do you like this? I'll wait up there. Thanks. Okay, do you like this stuff? Oh, that's cute. That's really cute. It's all the princesses. It's like a castle. We've got Elsa. We've got Tinkerbell over here. We've got Cinderella. Looking lovely. Snow White's up there. It's just so cute. Ariel getting married to someone who she's only just met. <laughs> Belle. Ariel up there again as a mermaid. She needs a bit of water, though, doesn't she? Rapunzel! And Jasmine up there. And who else have we got? Yeah, back to Elsa. I've got Tiana up there. And this is really cute. They've got like a it's small world merchandise, I guess. It's cute little bags. And what else have they got here? Is that a pin situation going on here? I don't know who this is, guys. Leave comments down below. Must be from like a maybe Disney Junior program thing. These are so cute. Oh. It's a small world doll set, 125 bucks. We can get all of these, that's really cool. That's really, really cute. I'm enjoying this bag as well. What does it say? Small world travel bag, that's cute. And then the, the mug is also very cute. Let me just, I'm going, taking this. It's very, very, very cute. This is actually something that I might potentially buy. So watch out for the haul if you want. <laughs> Let's continue. Let's see what they've got here. Actually, this is hilarious. I conquered a small world t-shirt. <laughs> it's just funny because I'm sure it must be a joke, like, because a small world is such an easy ride to go on, it's not like you have to conquer it. These are very cute and I will definitely get one of these. In fact, I might buy it. Do I want to buy it now? I don't know. But look at it, it's like a Christmas ornament. And they've got these in different styles as well. I've already got like a woody one like this and a Thunder Mountain one. But it's, is it going to focus? This small world one looks very, very cute. Not very many of them left either. Okay, I'm getting this. Guys, right, so we've even got a small world Vinyl Nations, Vinyl Nation Juniors, and which I'm really, really tempted to buy. I might just get one, because I don't collect the, the Junior Vinyl Nations, I only collect the big ones. But it's just really cute. What do you think, guys? They're $9. Let's go, let's do it. So, guys, we've done a uh, small world. That was our first ride of the day, which was awesome. I really enjoyed it. Pretty different to both Paris and Florida. So I was telling Rebecca, I think it's my second favourite in Small World. I love Paris, obviously, the most. But I just enjoy the unique touches that this one had. Like some of the characters from Disney films and stuff. Woody was there, Alice was there, everyone was there. It was pretty cool. And it was very roomy as well. Like, it was like you went to, it was just like you could tell that you were going from one room to another. Whereas in Paris and in Florida, they're both very linear. It's so like continuous. So I don't know. It's just different. But I, don't, I can't really tell which one I prefer. I definitely prefer Paris's generally. But this was really cool. Anyway, stop rambling. The next ride that we're about to do right now is Matterhorn which is cool because it's uh, Disneyland California specific it's a ride that's only here in the original Disneyland park and also look at that that's really that's also quite Disneyland specific as well they don't have that in Paris also they have it in Florida but not inside the actual park um, but yeah I'm looking forward to this it's a roller coaster it's in Fantasyland I didn't think it'd be in Fantasyland that's the entrance of it I love the Swiss flag over there looks very cool very very European and uh, it's a 20 minute uh, uh, 20 minute queue. I can't talk, so I'm looking forward to it. Yay! That looks so fun. Oh, thank you. No one, no one. The yellow snap. Yeah. Guys, we're on the Matterhorn. Uh, very excited. I'm on the front row. Let's see how this goes. Okay. I don't know what to expect. <laughs> oh, we're going, we're going. Woo, woo! Oh my god! Oh my god! I don't know what to do!
Along Disney video that I used to watch as a child, so I have again I just remember seeing it on screen so often, and to actually you know go on the ride now and see how it's what it's like. So far, we've noticed that there's actually there's, there's real people in each of the boats, right? Yeah. So it's more like the Jungle like Cruise. Gondolas. <laughs> yeah. So it's definitely not like it's not as similar to the, like the story we've in Paris when it's a that doesn't have people on it. It's more like I don't know. I guess an interactive one. People talk to you. We shall see. Are you sure this is our boat? And it's, it's, it's Daisy. Daisy! Yay, we got a Daisy bird! The one over there is Bambi and then I saw a snow white one as well. But we're on Daisy! Yeah? Thank you! Turn and watch your step. Oh, thank you very much. behind me. Behind, okay, sure, yeah. Okay. Oh, this is so exciting. It's cute. Hello. 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 Even menacing. <laughs> but don't worry, folks, though, we are passing through the jaws of the monster of the whale, the very same one that dwells in the Angel Pedo. We are actually being transported to a very magical place called Storybook Land. That's cute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, if you thought Monstro was scary, on our upcoming left is the cave of the big bad wolf. He's constantly after those three little pigs who luckily live across the way in those three little houses. One made of straw, one made of sticks, and one made of guaranteed wolf-proof bricks. Thank goodness for that. But then our story takes a rather strange turn. Or just around the corner on our left is the quaint English village that's home to Alice. Or one golden afternoon she chased oh, that's the white cute. rabbit down the rabbit hole and fell down, down, down into Wonderland. Yeah. The Princess Jasmine in the marketplace and stole her heart. And though the two are from different worlds, thanks to the power of love and the help of the genie, the two are now married and live in the salt south of the city. <laughs> Snow White wished for a safe place when she fled the evil queen and came upon the cozy cottage to our right. It's the home of the seven dwarves who offered her shelter and thanks for her time. Seven live there, that's cute. Wish is her. Wish is her powerful part of all fairy tales, just like Cinderella. Ah! Hello, Cinderella. Hello, Cinderella. Of the ride, Rebecca. Oh, it's really cute, and I liked how they had like the narrator on it. Yeah, do, do you like that? I was gonna say that's the one thing I didn't like about it. Oh, I, I think how she had these little, yeah. yeah. 
us doing it, I feel like I would have enjoyed it. I would have found it more relaxing if I could just just go through and see everything as far as being myself yeah. rather than her just constantly kind of talking. She was really lovely. She, yeah. was a bit, she was really cool, but I just think I would have enjoyed it with that. Because in Paris, it has like proper labels on what's what were there. They just really yeah. Cool. I guess you had they to didn't. look proper closely. Yeah. So you needed hair. So like, I wouldn't have like I wouldn't have noticed the Peter Pan one, for instance, probably. Yeah. I mean, I still probably would have been the other way back. But I don't know. I just normally I feel like it would have been more relaxing. But it was really cute. There were some cute big moments like Arundel. Yeah, that was they don't cute. have that in Paris. Ice Palace and um, they had what else did they have? Had Your friend you put back to you. That was cute. You who picks my flower? She literally said it and then yeah. he replied. <laughs> that was really they weird. The whole like they had the Arundel cast and they had Elsa's Ice Palace yeah. village. We and went around the corner. We saw Wandered Oak and then somebody said, "You who picks my flower?" He went one second later. It was really good. Bam bam ba da ba da ba. Do 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 and do supervise your children. Have a jolly good drive. We're in Mr. Toad, guys, that's amazing. over there. What is this? I am, uh, <laughs> don't you see, I'm, uh, speaking. 
<laughs> the brick, the brick is my stage. That's Brunswick Tower over there, guys. By the way, oh, so I'm just chilling. You must handsome man. Oh, you're gonna write this down? <laughs> come closer. I, I will allow you to come closer. <laughs> Okay, write down. Uh, okay, maybe just gonna work. Oh yeah. Only well, drawn a photo of you. Oh. <laughs> listen, listen. Listen. You're my friend now. You're my friend now. Because you are withholding information that I need for this wedding proposal. It's about to happen. I don't remember me saying me. Yeah, we we, we we because I said so. <laughs> we will talk about this later. <laughs> you, you and me. I have an idea. I have an idea. Let's make an aisle with all of you. What a great idea. Let's do Best idea ever. Look at how I'm going this way. So Belle can walk through it. We're making an aisle for Belle, Rebecca. Look at that. I'll take her. It's going to be amazing. Okay, there you go then. We need, we need Belle. You're right in the middle of the aisle. Okay, I'll leave it like an area for Belle. This one's great. We need someone to, right here, right here. Okay, then I'll stand in front of you. Here, here perfect, perfect. Right there. I need your help. Can you come stand over here for me? Oh, uh, Belle's gonna love this. You two, right here. I'll do this for you. Okay, perfect. Now we're just waiting for Belle. Right. <laughs> Excuse me, this is the aisle for the my, my bride. <laughs> no, <not> that one. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the best right. calculus I've ever had in my life. Yeah, Belle, amazing. Welcome, stand right here. Oh, there's Belle there. Tiny yeah, Belle. Perfect spot, right here. <laughs> This is so cool. This is, I can't. She's gonna love it. She's gonna no, she's gonna love this. Of course. Is she coming? It's happening. It's happening. Oh, this is an exciting moment for Gaston. Get those reflectors out. She's, she's crying because she's so emotional. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, oh, my heart's racing. I'm just thinking about this. Aww. <laughs> Another girl, everyone. That's cute. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I love you all almost as much as I love myself. <laughs> Oh, she'll be here. Oh, perfect. Oh, there she is. There's Belle. Everyone smile. Smile. Perfect. <laughs> it totally works. <laughs> We've made an aisle for Belle, guys, so I'm Belle sorry. can walk up to Gaston. That's true. <laughs> She's just going to give me a big old hug. <laughs> I'm proposing to you, Belle. You are. I can't marry you, Gaston. Why not? Well, because I'm in love with cookies. What? That was then. This is this is now. <laughs> I just tell him how to do this. But I'm Gaston. <laughs> I know. I'm greedy and, and, and handsome. Gaston, I just don't deserve you. <laughs> Location uh, wants to come up with a new you, plan. Hey, I support you, but this is not this is not a yes. <laughs> this is a one-time deal. <laughs> 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 
we just saw like a full on story unfold in front of us. This never happens in Disneyland Paris or Disney World or any other Disney park. This is insane. The characters are just full on like just having their own little. That was amazing. That was, I know, I just had the same thing. It's like they're just having their own she moment. Said yes. Woo! Oh, well. <laughs> That's hilarious. You? You're right. Thank you. Oh, hi to my friends on here. Oh, hello. hello. Oh, that's me. I'm saying hello to my friends. Is it really That's fun. Oh, hello. <laughs> yeah, it's fun, isn't it? It's like a magic mirror kind of thing. It is. I love yeah. it. Well, thank you for coming to say hello. That's all right. Hello. I loved your interaction with Gaston earlier. That was brilliant. He still is asking me I don't know why he doesn't get the point. No. I know. Yeah, I know that he means well. But yeah, but, I but you're, you've got Beast. Beast, I yeah, do. And Beast is awesome. And I feel as though if Gaston were maybe to have started asking another princess, he yeah. probably could have had a wife. To be fair, you're right. But he's just obsessed with you. Yeah, I mean, that must be quite nice. Very flattering. Yeah, it's very yes. flattering, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was so cute. Oh, yeah, Belle is adorable. Oh. Belle was so cute, so lovely. Belle's adorable. Belle. Ha ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> we are off to go and get a spot for the parade now because it starts in about half an hour. I'm really looking forward to the sound stational parade is what it's called. I've seen bits of it on the videos and stuff on YouTube but I've purposely not watched the full thing. So I'm looking forward to it. It's very hot. It's, it's, at, it's that time of afternoon where I'm feeling like oh, I can't deal with the heat anymore. But it's still not as bad as Florida because it's not, it's not um, humid. So it's, uh, I can manage. Sam. Forever impossible to eat an ice cream, apparently. I it dripping everywhere. I cannot do ice cream yeah. like this at all. And this is a huge one as well. Yeah, I told you the lady, top, actually. I told the cast member, I was like, I don't know how I'm going to cook, eat it. But how much I mean, was it? Right, well, $5 or $6. That's not bad for no, it's not. It was too, it's too sweet as well. Yeah, so you got you a chocolate and You can choose how much you wanted. Chip. And cookie um, dough. Cookie dough, exactly. And I also, you can, you can choose what kind of cone you want. So, you got so I went chocolate. for a chocolate one. They had one with like sprinkles on, one with like peanuts and stuff. Yeah. The, lady, um, the lady that worked there was called, um, I forgot her name actually, but she was very lovely. <laughs> it was a really bad. Yeah. Oh, Rebecca. Right, let's stop filming and start okay, eating. Okay, I'm not eating yet. Erica, what did you get? I am loving my Minute made though, because, yeah, if you've watched my vlog, then I've just told you that I love the lemon one. Had the strawberry before. Mm, all right, prefer the lemon. This cherry, oh, I love it. It's cherry and lime. And it's like a crushed up cherry brandy lolly ice kind of thing. It is, it is fit. And I am eating mine quite well, unlike this one. <laughs>
boat. guys look
love flow that's coming about. Yeah, and the master racing as well. I know, it's fantastic! So I'm just in a random shop on Main Street and I've just picked this up and I'm contemplating buying it. In fact, I probably will buy it because it's just so cute. It's just Just Keep Swimming, which is probably one of my favourite Disney quotes of all time because Dory's just awesome and my motto in life is just like, pretty much like Fiero in Wicked as well, you know, his, his song Dancing Through Life. I'm just like, keep it easy, just keep swimming. Don't take like it's difficult. Also, I look like an idiot at the moment, I know, with my glasses and <laughs> my, my ears on top as well. I just really love this quote and I love Dory as a character. And I've never seen a top like this before and Dory looks so cute so I'm just, I, just, I don't know, I feel like I really need to buy this. But look at these as well, I'm kind of like torn between which one I want to get because this is also very cute. This is a hoodie, really really cute. Oh, they different ones as well. And then they've got this which is so cute, it says adorable on it instead of adorable. It's just so cute, I, I, I love this shop, there's so many things I want but obviously I can't get everything but it's just so cute. They've got all these amazing tops everywhere. In fact, I'm going to show you something else I found out that was really, really cute. Um, it's this thing here. It's mini, and it's almost like mini singing in the rain. Like the song and the musical, and I love that musical, so it's just such a cute top, and it's very classy as well. I don't know. There's loads of cool stuff around here. Also, these tops here as well. I feel like princess fans would appreciate the Cinderella one, Ariel, uh, Belle, which looks very pretty. And Aurora, they're all very, very pretty. Right, so we've got this cute little Disneyland mug. So we've got Mickey and Pluto on Autopia, Goofy on the Matterhorn with the Yeti, Donald on Haunted Mansion, and Minnie with Mad Hat on the teacup. And it's that is so and cute. cute. Little pastel oh. writing, which is like my so favorite that, colors. Is that kind of the one you were thinking about buying? Maybe. I think, maybe, so, so. I think so that's cute. really cute. And it's yeah. Like, like she had to give like minty green, pale pink, pale blue. I love. Colors. It's very you the colors, cute. and it's got the castle inside as well. Did you see oh, it? Yeah. Um, Rebecca has been looking at mugs and I've just joined her and I'm just like, oh my god, everything's so cute. I also want this one. These, I mean, these are really cute. There's some over there. This I really like personally. It's very, I feel like it's very classic Disneyland. It's got Disneyland Resorts on it. In fact, I may, may buy this depending on how I feel about life. Towards the end of my holiday, I love this as well. Look at this. 
Woo! It's just so cute. Look at it. And it's got the fireworks. It's got the Disney castle. And this mug is just completely me. So I just I feel like I need it in my life. Look at it. Look, first of all, look at Goofy. The way he looks is the way I normally feel <laughs> most of the time in the mornings. I mean, hilarious. And then you turn it around, and it says. There are three types of mornings, early, too early, and way too early, which is what time Rebecca normally gets up. For me, that is way too early. She gets up at like 6.30 in the morning, like, what is this? We are about to enter Tomorrowland. <laughs> she just got to say the exact same really? sentence. Really? Rihanna, I just vlogging at the same time. For the first time, Tomorrowland here anyway. This is the entrance of it, as you can see. What just makes me lol a lot is that this is the entrance. You literally walk, let's just, let's just do it together. You literally walk from the entrance. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven steps, and you're right in front of Astro Orbiter. That this is this is just so weird how close everything is to each other in Disneyland. It's insane. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think it's called Astro Orbiter here. Uh, obviously in Paris it's called Orbiter. One of my favourite rides actually in uh, Discoveryland in Paris. Just because at night time it looks awesome. So I might want to, I kind of still want to do it here just to experience it here. We are currently off to go um, towards uh, Space Mountain though. Look at this sign as well. Yeah, we want to go on Space Mountain because firstly we just want to do a big ride, I guess. Matterhorn isn't that big. Uh, and they have like four different mountains. There's Matterhorn, Thunder Mountain, Splash Mountain, and this is more, and um, it's Space Mountain. Oh my God. Yeah, that's it. We want to do Space Mountain. It's different to both Florida's version and Paris's version, apparently. But also, it's just generally very different at the moment because they've got the whole Halloween season going on at the moment. Um, Space Mountain has turned into some kind of galaxy situation. Yo. What's it called? Galaxy. Ghost maybe? Yeah, it's sort of like a with G. Yeah. Um, so it's like a it's, it's Space Mountain still, but just a bit different. I think they just decorated it a bit differently inside. Um, so it'd be cool to see it this way. I mean, it means that we don't get to experience the classic version of the ride. It'll just see a classic. bit different. Thank you, classic. Rebecca. <laughs> Flaky, breaky, pushy. Oh, do you want to go, go, go do the Monsters Inc. <laughs> laugh a floor thing? <laughs> just joking, we're going to have it here. Selling Disney World. But, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I think it, there might be a really long queue for it, so we're thinking of uh, getting a fast pass for it and see how it goes. And then we might want to do Buzz, just for the lols, even though I'm really bad at it. Just chill here for a bit. I feel like evening time is quite a good time to actually be in Discovery Land or Tomorrowland. I know we're in Tomorrowland right now, but it's generally in this kind of area of this land when, it's, when it gets a bit dark or when it starts to get dark. I mean, I know it's still light, but the sun is about to set. It's definitely a lot cooler now, which is really nice. Okay, this clip is very long. I'm going to stop talking to you. There it is. Space Mountain Ghost Galaxy is what it's called. <laughs> Thank you. Do you want to do that again one more time? <laughs> That's very ghost like. <laughs> what's what's that, what's that face kind of. Oh, it's 65 minutes. We need to get a fast bus for this, yeah? yeah. So it's in an hour. Okay, marvelous, yeah. We're about to go on Finding Nemo Submarine Voyage from Disney's Disney Pixar's Finding Nemo. We got our fast buses for uh, uh, Thunder, not Thunder Mountain, Space Mountain, by the way. That's in about an hour and a half. And we thought we'd just do a few rides in uh, Discovery Land, not Discovery Land, Tomorrowland. Until then, and this is a new ride. I've never seen. I've not seen it in any other park. So, yeah, I'm quite curious to see what it's like, and I love finding Nemo. Why not do it? Finds a 10-minute wait. Not bad at all. Just doing all the rides that are original to Disneyland, really. This is what the ride looks like, and you can also see parts of it from world over there, which Rebecca spotted earlier, which is hilarious. Yeah, exactly. Rebecca's been spotting everything, just characters as the most hilarious thing, and then bits of other other attractions from different lands. We're on the ride now, guys, and I mean, at the moment, this is our view. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend this for claustrophobic people. We should be leaving very shortly. I hope you enjoy your voyage into the I mean, deep blue. I'm feeling a bit weird at the moment. Oh, I mean, this is even worse. All ahead, one turn. One turn. Okay, as soon as it moves, I'll be fine. Steer well, three zero degrees. We're underwater. All ahead, three. Oh. Steady as you go, so welcome your board. As the conditions of our voyage may be unpredictable, please remain seated at all times. Okay. As we leave the coast behind and head towards open water, you'll notice that this is a popular spot for divers searching for exotic fish. Right, right, right. Oh wow! Oh, that's Donna! Did you see that? That's hilarious. Did not expect that at all. Radar one, standing by. At 
destination today is quite extraordinary. Oh my god. A newly erupting deep water volcano. These remnants of an ancient civilization were hidden for centuries beneath the ocean floor. Hidden until unearthed by a tremendous volcanic event. Oh, wow. <laughs> As we leave this long-lost community behind, we're about to enter a community of a different kind, the Coral Reef. <laughs> on earth now after our journey under the sea thank you thank you very much oh that was such a cool ride yeah so the ride was a lot better than i expected it to be I, in fact i don't even know what i expected of it i just thought we'd go underwater and see things but as you would have seen in the footage as well the effects were amazing um because you are actually underwater on this water here and i kind of moved around and it's just like you could see things. Well, I mean, Nemo was there, Dory was there, fish, random fish were there. It just—it was really, really cool. Um, I was just fascinated by it the whole time. Uh, very cool, a very unique ride, and not a ride I've ever seen or been on before. So yeah, well done, guys. Buzz Lightyear, Buzz the ride, Rebecca's favorite ride. Well, oh no, I'm really tired, so the on the day. The pressure's on, Rebecca. Whatever happens, you'd be so much better than me and the average person doing it, to be honest. So, yeah, I'm kind of a bit curious to, oh, there we go, a bit different. I'm excited to see Hello, how are you? <laughs> I love your outfit. That's okay. Um, I'm excited to see what the thing's like, what the guns are. I'm sure you can't move them, can you? No, they're attached. It's, 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 for me, as somebody who can't even do it very well in Paris, in Florida, I really struggle. So, I think we can do some things. Last time I was in 
Vlad Paris was only a week, about a week ago, about a week and a half ago, ten, nine years ago, I did Vlad Paris for a day. I had my best uh, month. <laughs> okay, I had my best month. Oh, I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah, it was about 40 something thousand. All right, you junior space writers, listen up. Zerg is using the stolen battery cells to energize his secret weapon. Our mission is to find his robots and his secret weapon this is only speaks English, guys. The squadron will retrieve the power well, cells, so while the rest clever. of you concentrate on those robots. You'll rendezvous at Planet Z. I will remain here at Star Command to coordinate the mission. Attention, Space Rangers. This is Star Command. Prepare for immediate launch. Like, I don't think I've got some words in the middle of the day. I want to use it. I think I'm going to get more than 10,000. I personally would be happy. Um, okay. Okay, so we'll see how we do. We're going to go to the same one. Okay. Okay, so we'll see how we do. We'll see how we do. Yeah. Same one. Guys, that's my score, 19,000. Rebecca's got 86,000. She doesn't feel good about it. I'm pretty happy with mine. It's our first time coming for the Exactly. Did you think it was quite, I thought it was quite similar to Paris though, generally. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Guys, we're on Astral Orbiter. I've got my own little cart thing, spaceship thing. Rebecca's got my own Rebecca. Say hi. Remain seated with your seatbelt fastened. Oh really? Your hands, arms, feet, and I can't even hear you. Inside. You're going to use your feet to control it. <laughs> That's hilarious. Sorry. Sit back. I was so comfortable being on the hill in, in one of these on my own. Like, I mean, it's fun doing it with other people, but it's just like a small space because it can get a bit. Whoa! It's like I feel like I've got so much space. Look at this. I'm not used to it. Yeah, I've got my seatbelt. Thank you. So weird. <laughs> I think I've, I've always done this with other people. I think it was a nice experience doing it that way. Um, Rebecca's still there vlogging. Just means that it's not very cramped. My, my legs can just do whatever. Look at this! I feel like I'm on front row of Wicked or something. Um, I'm excited to go on this because, uh, as you probably know if you watch my Disneyland Paris vlogs, going on um, Orbitron in Paris or Astro Orbiter here uh, in the evening time is my favourite. I mean, I don't know if it's a bit too dark. I prefer normally going on it when it's just about to get dark kind of thing. If you watch my Disneyland Paris vlog from July 2016, we went on it just before it was getting dark, so it was like around sunset time and it was amazing, it was beautiful. But my second option would be like when it's very dark, which is right now. Um, I just think it's better when you do, when you do it when it's darker. Like in the day it's not as fun. Rebecca's vlogging over there as well, I can kind of hear her. Hello? Hello. I can hear you vlogging a bit, but I can't hear what you're saying. <laughs> oh, we're going up, we're going up, we're going up. Oh, 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 oh. Enjoy your flight. Okay. This is exciting! Oh my god, we've gone up! We've gone up! <laughs> I feel like I've, I haven't got much screams. Like, Woo! Look at the castle, guys! That's the castle! Oh, we're so high up! Oh, this is so cool! Oh, Rebecca's down there! Why is he? Why are you down there? Rebecca, come up! <laughs> I'm at the, at, the, at the very highest point of, that you can get. The wind is amazing. Oh, I love this ride. It's such an underrated ride, I feel like. If guys, my suggestion, if you want to do it, do it in the evening or night time. It makes a difference. It just makes it so much more exciting. Woo! <laughs> oh, it's so good! Wings, except I'm not because I'm going down. Woo! Oh, I love this one. It is now time for. Are you being serious? It is now time for Space Mountain Ghost Galaxy version. Let's do this, guys. This is it, guys. Shit. 
I'm really looking forward to it actually, just to experience a different space mountain and see what this one's like. And they've got the galaxy thing as well going on, the, the, the ghost galaxy situation. Um, so I'm guessing there'll be really cool effects as well. And the lighting is really good here, isn't there? That's kind of good lighting. Is it quite decent lighting? Yeah? Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's quite soft. Yeah. yeah. Well done, Space Mountain. You probably have to come here to go film all my videos. But um, yeah, that's the ride. And I shall see you after the ride ends. So guys, we're just off the ride. Um, we both quite enjoyed it, didn't we? Yeah. It was really fast. Really yeah, and it started off really slow. So I was like, is it going to go fast? I mean, I'm on, a, I'm on a ride called Space Mountain. I would like it to go faster than this. And yeah, suddenly it went really fast. And it was really good. It, it was like a very fast ride. Pretty smooth as well, which I like. Because the one in Paris, I just I love it. It's in a smooth ride, like your head hurts. My head hurts right now, but that's because my head hasn't hurt over the past few hours. I'm not sure why, I'm guessing the heat. And the ease, these ease aren't the most comfortable ease. Um, but yeah, it was good. I loved the, I really enjoyed the effects. Um, the random uh, galaxy ghost effects. Rebecca, can you tell me what you thought those galaxy ghosts reminded you of? <laughs> the weird, like, Baltimore, baby, death, <laughs> thing. It's true, when you said that, I was like, yeah. They look like aliens, they look like aliens more than anything, or like yeah. the Voldemort thing. Or like a fiery lava type Yeah, not, not what you would think of ghosts when you think of ghosts. <laughs> yeah, like, not, not like Casper the ghost. <laughs> like, a, like a fire zombie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, did you enjoy the ride though? Yeah, it was fun. I it was good. It's not exactly that because it's yeah, it so fast, you kind of... Like this was Yeah, like there were bits as well. Like, I literally was like, shh, I was nearly going out. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Hiya. <laughs> I literally went, <laughs> I mean, I'm glad they're, they're good, nice people who just think yeah, they're very hilarious. Right, yeah. <laughs> but no, in the ride, there were bits where I was fucking checked now. There were bits where my head would just go out. I was like, whoa. They had some really like interesting turns that nearly hurt my head. But not, but for the most part, the ride was really smooth compared to Paris, which was really nice. Um, it's good. I enjoyed it. I kind of want to do it again, so maybe we'll go on again well, at some point. Definitely not today, though. Sorry. Look, did you? No, I'm just saying I wish the ride went upside. Oh, see, like I don't really mind that. I, I mean, I, I, obviously, I love yeah. Paris because it's really cool and stuff. It's still my yeah. favorite space mountain ever. No, but I didn't feel like this one needed it. Like it was yeah. cool, but it was out. Like it was and fine. And it makes it a bit different where Paris Space Mountain and Rock and Roller Coaster are very similar. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I just felt like this was fine for what it was. Like I definitely prefer this one in Florida. Though. We are now in a place called Galactic Grill. This is the ceiling. Pretty cool. We're sitting in Tomorrowland. Uh, we're having our dinner, it's like 10 past 8, um, the park closed at 9, so that, that might be the last thing we do, depending on how long it takes for us to eat food, I don't know. Um, but we both went for um, chicken nuggets, that's Rebecca's, and chips, which is a kid's meal. So it's, uh, yeah, we ordered from the kid's meal because all the adult ones were like burgers and stuff, and I had a burger already today, so as much as I love burgers, that's just not really good to have to, and we feel like in the mood for them, so. Chicken nuggets is what we went for, and we got some apples as well. Both of us. Which is nice. Could save for tomorrow morning. Yeah, or we could, or we could, yeah, exactly. We could do that. I mean, it's a nice atmosphere. Um, yeah. I said my head still hurts, which isn't fun. But I think this little tiny bottle. This is why we're going to give them small bottles as well because it's a kids one. Mm -hmm. So it's like a tiny bottle. Of water, well, it's good because you, if you want to, exactly. I could actually fit this in my bag. Yeah, that's a cute bottle. I like it. So yeah, food time. <laughs> It's 45 minutes, Rebecca. What do we do? So apparently, it's not 45 minutes, even though the sign outside is 45 minutes. The lady, the customer said it should be about 20 minutes away, so we decided to come and do it. I miss our tour. Obviously, we've not done it since March. And we went on the very last day. Yeah, and then we, this, this will be different. Yeah. This one you can get like 11 different oh uh, like scenarios. Oh, I'm excited. Look at that thing over there. That's exciting. Um, yeah, I am looking forward to this a lot, guys. And I think this probably will be our last ride of the day. So guys, we're just leaving the park uh, for the first time. Um, really good first day, very productive. My head hurts so bad. I'm blaming these and the heat. And I just want to drink water and sleep. <laughs> but um, yeah, I shall see you tomorrow. So hi guys, it is our second day in the park today. We are currently about to go to Disneyland again. We just entered Disneyland Park. Um, and yeah, it's like half past eight in the morning, quite early. Quarter to nine. Quarter to nine now. Uh, there's a one hour ex extra ma early magic hours, I think they call it here, from eight to nine. I just want to go shout out to the lovely um, girl over there who was the photo pass person. Wasn't she really cool? Cool. I think her name was Kirsten, I checked. 
third class person lady at the front of the Disneyland. She was awesome. So, I mean, all cartoon was here are great, but you know, some of them just, just make you smile a bit extra. And it's just wanted to give a shout out. Anyway, today I'm wearing my uh, Rapunzel top. As you can see, I'm still wearing my, my visit, first visit badge because it is still my first visit. Although they call it buttons here, which is hilarious. <laughs> And then, huh? It's so weird. It's weird. Look at the. Yeah. It is very weird. Could you see that? Chippendale. <gasps> Look at him. Rebecca. I'm so amazed about spotting. You really are. Every single character we've seen so far, Rebecca spotted. I've not seen any. I like, dressed as a little policeman. That is so cute. Can we meet him, please? Yeah. Oh my god. He looks so cute. <laughs> Could you take photos on that sure one, can. please? Thank you. We're gonna look right there first. Yeah, there you go. That's cool. We're gonna look right here. Do you want to be in there? Perfect. Chip, say hi. Aww. Wave to the I camera. Love it. It's so cool. It's it is pretty small. cool. <laughs> I love the star as well. Very, very. Cool. <laughs> love it. He does a little bit of a spit shine on the oh. on the badge. Right? <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. bye. Best day in food of loving life here. Oh, <laughs> that's so cute. Pluto's in his like a Halloween outfit thing, collar thing, walking around. Mickey's over there. That's Rebecca. Pumpkin's over there. Uh, I think Chips might might still be over there somewhere. Yeah. It's just cows all around. It's really fun. Magic Kingdom. Are delighted to have you as our guest today. Whether this is your first visit or your 100, we welcome you to join our Disney family. Now it's time to begin your journey of fantasy and wonder in our many lands. For your safety and for those around you, we ask that you walk to your next destination. We hope that today you'll be making memories that will last a lifetime. Thank you, and may you enjoy your day in this magical place called Disneyland. There we go. Thanks, Goofy. Bye. Zippity a. My oh my, what a wonderful day. Plenty of sunshine headed my way. Zippity doo da, zippity a. It's a bluebird's on my shoulder. It is the truth. Sorry, it's the truth. Everything is satisfaction. Hello, Donald. How are you? Do you find this, please? I love your outfit. Such a good company. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. We are going to get a picture here. It's over there. Oh, sorry. Okay, we're moving. Oh, okay. Thank you. I like it. Okay, so we're going to move along. Okay. There we go. Thank you. So guys, we've just gone into a shop that sells like Mickey's and hats and stuff and I really like this cap. Look at it. It's like a Pixar cap. It's got characters and pretty much most of the Pixar films. Apart from Ratatouille actually. There's no Ratatouille character but it's really cool. I also really like this. I'm contemplating getting it but I just don't wear caps often so often enough anyway. This one's got like, it's got Disneyland Resort and different Mickey's around it from different times. Really cool. Another thing I want to show you, if I can get quite a busy shop list, <laughs> but if I can show you this. Woo. Over here, can I get it out? Let's see. There you go. These Rapunzel <laughs> Mickey's are just hilarious. I mean, look at it. If you wear them, it's like you've got your eyes, their eyes on top of your head, and you can have the Rapunzel's hair as well at the back. It's pretty cool. Very strange, like very out there, but really cool. Guys, I mean, look how cute this is. A Salon Dumbo hat. <laughs> I love it, and they've got a Peter Pan hat in there as well, and like a classic mini hat. Look at it. Uh, and the Chip and Dale one? Yes, we can. There's different ones. There's, there's Dale or Chip. <laughs> <laughs> We've just found Corella or Rebecca as because she just sees characters everywhere. That's so funny. I mean, yesterday we were following Gaston, today we're following Corella. There's a theme going on here, we just like following villains. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, it's, it's just, it's Hi again. Yeah. Now, we both of course. You live in London. Yeah, I mean, that's it. And our day is not 
That's yeah, amazing. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much. If you have an amazing day, just like you yourself. <laughs> I mean, so random. I mean, life has just been so. so ra kind of it's good though because we were the first week. Yeah. Because we got to meet her. Well yeah. done. This has been a really random morning so far. <laughs> it's funny because I just said earlier today I was like, do you think there'll be any villains out? And yeah. Rebecca pointed out that we saw Gaston yesterday and, and kind of saw Gaston yeah. Hook as well. Yeah. We didn't meet him, but we see it. We saw him. And now. Randomly, Corella. has put out loads in um, Walt Disney Studios, Studios as well. Yeah. yeah, we saw her there like in last month. I saw it. Yeah. Indeed. She's oh, the life is good again. She's fabulous. Was that definitely the highlight of the day now? Of course it was. How was her day? Oh, that's so cute. Just shove it in your pockets. <laughs> Oh, really? 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 I just love this. The weather's lovely, it's nice, not too hot yet. Oh, that's so cute. Um, we met loads of characters already. We've only been in the park for like less than an hour, I'd say. Minnie, Goofy, Donald, Cruella, Chip, Dale. I mean, wow. <laughs> I love that area actually in Disneyland in front of the entrance where all the characters come out and stuff. And sometimes we get random ones as well. Is that the Mary Poppins Cafe? This one, that one. That one. The big one. We need to make sure we do go there as well at one point for you. Thank Yay. you. It looks really nice. Have a look at the menu so we know what they do. Yeah, that's a very good idea. Let's go and have a look now. Speaking of Mary Poppins, Rebecca's just uh, spotted another character. Well, Mary's out again today, but with Bird this time, which is cute. Just by the castle over here. They're loving life. <laughs> We've become accustomed to just walking with characters no, these days. Really <laughs> following them, this is a casual thing to do apparently in this park. Hello guys, how are you? Hello. I met you yesterday. There we go. But you weren't with us, so we do mind, yeah. The few chimneys to clear. Oh, I need a pen, sorry Rebecca. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Are you okay? Sorry? Are you all together? Okay, yes, well. yes, you thank you. That's so cool. How was the rest of your day yesterday? We really enjoyed it. We went on the small world. I love the small world. Was it, was it a super camouflage? Exactly, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you met Mary Poppins, so... Well, you were the first person we met, so you made our day perfect. Here we go. She brings out the best in people and dies. <laughs> So, any specific rides that you want to go on again? Um, well, we only did half the park yesterday, so you we go. need to do like the that rest half. Yeah, yeah, we need to do like Adventureland. We saw you on the parade yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. It was very close. Mary Poppins still won the horse race, but I was <laughs> so big. Yes, so yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Should we have a Yeah. Just thought I'd do the outfit of the day for today, which is. Mario Fons on top, which you might have noticed or remember from my Disneyland Paris vlog of 2016 March time. <coughs> um, so I got my badge, Rebecca's laughing. Um, oh, I've got my Shanghai ears, which I love. These are my I got two pairs of ears from Shanghai Disneyland when I went, and these are my favourites of the two. The other ones are like castle ones, which you would have seen in my Disneyland Paris trip September. This is it. This is today. <laughs> I thought you might want to know, so. Oh, this is from Redbubble, by the way, because I know a lot of people will be asking. Redbubble, just typed in like the puns or something. I can't remember what I typed, but yeah. I'm just about to get my breakfast because I've not really had anything about from apples. Look at all these Red. amazing pastries here, guys. I think I'm going to go for the chocolate twist because I'm, look how huge it is. I mean, whoa. So guys, I got myself this massive chocolate twist thing, which is honestly so big. It's like taller than my head. I've never seen anything that's this big before. Um, only in America, guys. And then I'm just chilling by Rapunzel's tower, exactly where Gast Gaston was chilling at yesterday, where he proposed to Belle and stuff, which is quite kind of fun, and enjoying this breakfast at 10 o'clock with my water. And after this, we're going to hopefully go and see um, Tinkerbell, and then come back here and meet some princesses. It's going to be a very character orientated day. Uh, until later on in the day when we go on Splash Mountain when it gets really hot and we need to cool down. Guys, we're about to go and meet some fairies. Rebecca's so excited. Look at her. <laughs> 
Coming next to <laughs> my favorite. I really love it's a small world. It's my favorite ride. Yeah, it's just so cute. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, some people find it annoying, but I love it. And there's water everywhere. Exactly. Yeah. Yes, we saw some ducks yesterday. We've not seen any fish yet. You haven't seen the fish yet. No, I haven't seen too many. Maybe we'll find an emo. There's turtles though sometimes. Oh, cool. You look hard enough to find a turtle. There you go. Thank you very much. So really pretty. Oh. <laughs> it's really nice to meet you. My friend Dee's just around the corner. Oh, cool, cool. Bye. Bye bye. Oh, oh, look look at the photo oh, You're here, yeah. Do you want to <laughs> hello? It's a magic mirror. It's a magic mirror, yeah. <laughs> bye. Bye. Nice to meet you. Oh, this place is so cute. Oh, you can tell us over there. Do you want to just go there? Wow. I love this place. <laughs> My sign as well. No, you can do oh, okay, sure. <laughs> Hello, could you could you please sign mine as well, T? Of course. Thank you. Where are you from? I'm also from London, England. You are. Yeah. You know, London. There's a there's a big tower and there's a clock on there. Yeah. And if you stand there, you can see the the path and everything the best. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's why we like to fly there. Okay, that's the way to get up. I mean, I need to go. You to can see the second star to the right. It's so clear, right there. Yeah. So just climb up to the tower, okay. and then you'll be able to get Neverland. It takes, okay. It's way easier than flying from here. Okay. Now, well, here I have to fly around the castle a few times, so I get the right <laughs> spot, and then I can take it. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now that we've met you, you've got the pixie dust, so we can do it. Yeah, we'll need your pixie dust to fly there. Yeah, down. um, about that. <laughs>
we're in the Royal Theatre about to watch a Beauty and the Beast kind of show. We've just been taught two new words. What's the first one, Rebecca? Huzzah! Second one? Oh, <laughs> so sweaty in that. No, don't worry, darling, it's because of the lighting. But, um, yeah, so apparently when we're happy, we see people that we like. They're like, oh, woo! Camera, calm down. <laughs> no, it's my camera. Don't, don't. Can you tell my camera to calm down? Calm down. Thank you. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, look at, look at the beautiful theatre. It's very nice. It's quite small, but, but cute. And um, we do um, Beauty and the Beast shows in the day, in the morning time. <laughs> and then afternoon towards the evening they do is, um, Tangled ones. Tangled. I know. Tangled. I don't know why I say small world. Uh, tangled ones I'm very excited about because yo, 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 yo. Ho. Ho. A pirate's life for me. Later. Those versatile Viscounts of voluminous velocity as they portray a panoply of personalities under this preeminent proscenium. Please welcome Mr. Smythe and Mr. Jones. <laughs> Mr. Jones, and how is each and everybody doing today? Madam Bon Jour and welcome to the Royal Theatre. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here to help tell my story. As are we. In fact, we shall play most of the roles in your story. Yes, I shall pretend to be Gaston. And I shall pretend to be the Beast. And you shall pretend to be Belle. But I am Belle. And you will be marvelous. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a delightful demoiselle named Belle. And it was on this particular day that you made your way to your small provincial town, book in hand. Thank you. Deep Belle loves books. Oh, oh yeah, that's amazing. Magic spells. Dear Heroes in disguise. And happily ever after. Little did Belle know that today would be her lucky day. Hello, Belle! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I promise not to keep mm, stopping. It? It's just... Well, it's Gaston. Yes, uh, <laughs> Mr. Jones is pretending <laughs> Pretending to... to be Gaston. Yes, I know. It's just that, well, Gaston had much bigger muscles. <laughs> uh, my name is Cogsworth, at your service. And I'm Mrs. Paul! <laughs> and I am Lumiere! Candles and teapots and clocks. Oh my! <laughs> Belle soon understood she was indeed in an enchanted castle. And as she continued to explore, she discovered a magic rose. It's beautiful. Suddenly, from out of the shadows sprang forth a beast! Ah! Ah! Oh, a hideous beast ah! with yellow crusty fangs, gnarly matted hair, and huge and rotting breath. Ah! The smell of garlic and old milk that had been in so foul, so horrendous, so outrageously stinky that any living creature would wither in its presence! Oh, the beast talked with Fountain. How could he begin to tell her how he felt? He knew for certain that he loved her. Well, I'm sorry I behaved like, well, a beast. <laughs> it's all right. Perhaps I jump to conclusions. It's true, you know. You really can't judge a book by its cover. Ah, the mood is right. The lights are dim. If music be the food of love, we'll sing along. out into Frontierland for the first time um, on this holiday which is exciting that bit a bit reminds me of Paris I don't know why but then it doesn't like you know when you first walk into yeah. Frontierland and you've got Lucky Nugget there Western at least yeah and Lucky shop. Nuggets there as well but obviously yeah. that's not Lucky Nugget that's and, golden and then you go there and it's like oh, anyway obviously it's different but so yeah this is the Mark Twain riverboat in Paris we've got the Molly Brown, in Florida it's 
The Lily Bell? Is it? Okay. Because no. we never got to do it last no, time. The Lily Bell. They've got a cool. Uh, oh, the face. They've got like some uh, Halloween stuff going on there as well, which is cute. And over there it says Zocalo Park Disneyland, which is cool. Guys, the moment has come for me to go on Thunder Mountain for the first time in nearly a year. Last time I was on any Thunder Mountain ride was in Disneyland Paris in October 2015. It's been shut since then for refurbishments. It's still closed in Disneyland Paris until January next year, 2017. And I miss it so much because it's my favourite ride of all time, literally. Not just in Disneyland and Disney parks, my favourite ride of all time. Um, I mean, I, I love the Paris one, it's my favourite. Uh, the Florida one's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm excited to go on this one. It's the original. I can't wait. There's a mountain over there. Look at it. Look at it. It's cool. I literally cannot believe it's about to happen. Rebecca's just standing there waiting for me to vlog. Hello, how are you? Yeah, you okay? You? Thank you. Yay. Yes, wait. Thank you. It's a 10 minute queue. Thank you very much. A 10 minute queue. A 10 minute queue. Mine is blown. At like what, 12 o'clock? It was a half 12 or something in the afternoon. 10 past, 10 past 12. What? Because we came here and Rebecca was like, oh, maybe, you know, if it's too long, we can get a fast pass and come back later. Ten minutes. What is this? I'm so well, excited. Oh, right, so it is. <laughs> oh, guys, guys. I don't know why I'm so excited. It feels a bit um, overwhelming just to be able to go on Thunder Mountain. They gave it, it's a different ride. It's a different Thunder Mountain. Obviously, it's not the Paris one. It's still Thunder Mountain. My beloved Thunder Mountain. And we're about to go on it. Hello. Hiya. <laughs> um, oh. I can't tell how much I've missed this ride. Rebecca, are you, um... Not as you, excited as you are. Are you looking at... <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was gonna say something else, actually. I was gonna say, are you looking forward to my uh, random excitement, burst of excitement and screams on the ride, potentially? No. <laughs> Sam is very, very vocal on rides. There's only two people I know who's a vocal. Well, Sam, one of the persons who's very vocal on rides. Joe, I'm laughing at you, mate. <laughs> I've never been on Very vocal. Yeah. I'm looking forward to going on rides. I don't know who's more so though. I'm looking, imagine if you're in the middle, me and Joe around you. Oh my god, that would be hilarious. What's going to happen to us? <laughs> it's quarter past 12. Oh, we're in the queue for like. Unheard of for Thunder Mountain. <laughs> and it's just there. Oh, can they see it? Oh, you, you can't sit in the lake. It's just gone. There you go. I'm so happy. Guys, I've literally missed just getting on this ride. Like the feel of it. Like, oh, this is amazing. I've missed it so much. Oh my god, what am I going to be like when we go to Paris when it when it's like back to back to the Very long one. Anyway, that's the mountain over there. Oh, that's that's people. That's the train over there. Wow, this ride in the wilderness. I cannot wait. Like the screams commence. <laughs> I'm excited! <laughs> Woo. Woo. Oh, oh.
cute. My arm full on hurts because I've been holding it for so long because the ride was longer than I expected. Seven but that... minutes. Two minutes. <laughs> oh, seven, seven, seven. Imagine if it was seven minutes. Um, that was a good ride. I enjoyed it. Guys, I really enjoy this massive lake thing here that they've got going on in between like Frontier and Adventureland with the county and Ewelling Square. So no, I like it. Smaller. I like this one that incorporated loads of different Disney characters. Yeah. yeah. Well, like the Paris one, we've been on so many times. Oh yeah. I needed a little comparison, so I didn't get to go to the weirdest. Oh okay. So I need to go back. Yeah. Oh cool. Uh, I know. We get in there pretty too, so I want to go. So amazing. That's a spot again. Yeah, I've been Paris loads and I've been Florida twice. I want to have first time at this part. Oh, good. I just yeah. went to Florida two and a half weeks ago. Oh, wow. It's my second time now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, man, I was here. Oh, wow. Oh, I love that. Yeah, she, she loved it. Yeah. Yeah. She, lo she loved the shoulder. I just want to get, just want to just, just say the camera, if that's all right. Hello. All right. I've got friends there, so oh, you can just say hi to them. I'm giving you the shoulder. <laughs> The new version of the smaller guys. <laughs> pretty fancy. How amazing is your hair as well, by oh, the way? I love thank it. You. So You're pretty. so sweet. It took it's a long right. time to braid today. I can imagine. It must yeah. take you ages. Had to get some help from Flynn. <laughs> no, I'm just too busy. I've got, I've got a friend, my friend Lisa, as well. She's got really long hair. She does. And she's like literally not as long as yours, of course, oh, but it's pretty long. Yeah. It's, it's, she's got long hair problems. Oh and it's not, my goodness. Not fun. You need lots of brushes and Tips. Um, other people to help you okay. usually. I use Pascal, he helps me a lot. And the little girls in the village, and sometimes Flynn Rider, <laughs> although Finn. he doesn't really know how to braid very well yet. We're still teaching him. <laughs> okay, I'm we'll sure he'll learn. I'm sure he'll get there. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Of course, bye. Yay. We just met uh, Rapunzel and Finn, which was amazing. They loved my top. And Finn was amazing. Rapunzel was lovely. It was just such a cute meet. In fact, I think of all the meets that we've had so far on this trip, it's my favorite. Would you say? Mary and Bert, maybe. Or... Thank God. Yeah, but that was random because we had to keep walking. Yeah, it wasn't like a proper meet. Yeah. But I, I just love this because it was. Who else have you met actually? Oh, yeah. Belle. Belle. Cat, face character wise. Uh, we haven't met very many. Belle. Uh, yeah, Belle was cool, cool as well to be fair yesterday. Yeah, she was lovely. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. Think about And Cruella. Oh, Cruella was fun. But no, I think from, it was just the fact that it was both of them as well. And I don't yeah. think. Apart from that auberge in the. Disneyland Paris ones, I'd never met the two of them together. So it was so cute to meet them together and, and Flynn was like hilarious with the, with the smaller thing because I don't know if you can hear it or not in the conversation but I was like, oh can you do the theme? Oh, the, the smaller and he was like, oh I'm glad you said the smaller because I've had so many people come up to me and say, can you do the thing not knowing the name and he was like saying how some people call it the shoulder, some people call it the smolder, some people call it the sh random, random words which made me law but he was he was very handsome so I really enjoyed that. Now we have to get some food because it's lunch time. Change of plan, we're actually in the queue for Pirates of the Caribbean now which is very exciting because apart from Disneyland Paris' version of Pirates and Shanghai Disneyland which is just completely different to any Pirates ride ever. Um, I've never been on any other like original Pirates of the Caribbean ride because in Florida when we went last year it was closed the whole time. Um, so I'm excited to just kind of experience another one, see what it's like. Dad's Pirates is Hiya, Oh okay, sorry. See, so yeah, I'm excited to um, experience a, um, another version of Pirates of the Caribbean, really. It should be the same as the original, kind of just a bit different. And it only has a 10 minute shoot. Oh, and it's hot. Oh yeah! So guys, this is the Pirates ride here. A bit of a different layout to Paris. There's a parrot over there. I haven't been able to 
found any chlorine so far, like they're my favourite smell of all time. Um, but hopefully, it might, it might be, you know, maybe when we go inside, I might stop and smell it, who knows. I'm excited anyway. We're on pirates. Indeed. Yo. Ho. Ha. Let's go. Oh, oh, you do know what you're doing? I don't know. Okay, okay, we well, you can get you okay. It's gonna be hard. Yo, yo, hi, red, four. Yay! Right, we're on it now, guys. Bye, see you later. So, guys, this is uh, the blue. Oh, Ohio. It's what? like when we stay in to Florida. Is it called the same? Oh, I don't know. I was saying when on our hotel we were in the alligator bar Alli section. Bayou. Yeah, well done. I throw back to last year. Um, but yeah, this is their version of the Blue Lagoon. It's pretty nice, pretty similar to the Paris one. Very chilled. Still don't smell any fireflies that are just float, float. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I this one now. That's really cool. Yeah, still don't smell any chlorine smell, so I just forget about it and enjoy the ride as it is without the smell. No, 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 no. A Right guys, we have a bit of a problem. I really love this ride, Pirates here. It was amazing and now I really can't figure out like which of them I enjoy the most because having done three now, two, three very different ones. Like I expected this Pirates to be very similar to the one in Paris. It's not. 
very different. Not very different, but pretty different. Um, it's almost like it's in between um, like Shanghai Disneyland and Disneyland Paris. So it's got some of the effects that Shanghai Disneyland has, which I mean Shanghai Disneyland's Pirates of the Caribbean is just a completely different, like it's just incredible. It's, it's got one of the amazing, most amazing rides I've ever been on. I really loved it when I went on there, you can watch the vlog of it if you want. But obviously I really love the Paris one as well, just because I think in Paris you feel like, I don't know, I mean I love it because I went there as a child, so I guess I got loads of memories. But I just love the fact that, you know, the chlorine smell, you really, you really, I feel like anyway, the atmosphere is incredible on the Pirates of the Caribbean ride in Paris. And then here, it just had really cool effects, as well as like great animatronics and everything, like all the stuff that they have in Paris. As well as like it was a very long ride. Like in the beginning, it was like there was two or three minutes of it just kind of before you even get to the animatronics of you just kind of feeling like you're underwater and stuff. And the drops are at different times. Like you start with the drops rather than in Paris, like the drops happen in the middle. It was just really cool. And I've come to the conclusion that I just I just love Pirates of the Caribbean as a ride. It's one of my favourite rides, and I love it in every every park I go to. For different reasons, I can't even pick a favourite, they're all amazing. And I can't wait to do it in Florida next year. <laughs> As you could have seen by that splash just now, we are off to Splash Mountain, we've got a fast pass for it. And it's like in the afternoon time, so it'd be nice to cool off a bit by going on it. I'm really excited. Also look at this cute sign, Pit of Country. The Splash Mountain here is actually located in an area of this land called Pit of Country. It's quite a small area, and I think this is kind of their main attraction. But um, yeah, I am going to try and actually vlog on it. I didn't do it in Paris, in um, Disney World, but I'll see how this camera holds up. It's going to get really wet, so I don't know. I might have to just kind of stop filming just before we drop, but we'll see. I'm sitting on it, are you? No, well, my seat was wrong. Huh? Your seat's wet? Yeah, I'm sad. Yeah, I feel more comfortable about it. Well, that's just happened. Even though my bum's a bit wet from pirates. Yeah. Over there. I'm feeling very nice. You're tanning? So I'm tanning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, my arm hair's not very long. Yeah.
Like this is ridiculous, guys. Look at this. I know. Oh well, at least my! I'm short, so at I least, yeah. Skin, skin oh, what is this? It was really fun, though. I loved it. It was really fun. Wonderful day. more on the right because my right side's more right oh, than my look left. Look at this, it's, 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 it's soaked. I can't even move it. Marvellous, this is great. It was such a fun ride. It was really loved good. Loved it. I it. Loved it so much. And it was oh. really... Ooh. It was like really scary being on the front because when you were like tipping, after you'd clumped up and you kind of were tipping over the edge and you could see the drop, it was like straight down. It's not like a gentle decline, it's like a market restaurant in New Orleans Square and we got some amazing amazing food for our lunch I mean this is a beef stew and this amazing looking bread it's really big as well and it's in the shape of Mickey and I got myself some extra mac and cheese as well just because I love mac and cheese so much especially American mac and cheese so I want to make the most of it whenever I can and this all came with it so like a banana some apple juice and a water as well and Rebecca got the same as me we're about to go on the Winnie the Pooh ride Different to the one in Florida, but I'm guessing it'll be a similar kind of ride. Yeah, thank you. We're in the back row again. Somehow, back row has become our thing on this trip.
so cute. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet! So as me have seen, we just watched the parade for the second time and now we're about to go on Go Coaster in Two Town. It's just like a very small coaster, kind of similar to um, a coaster like this in Florida. I can't remember the name of it. Rebecca would know. She's a bit ahead of me. Rebecca! Rebecca! I'm going to wait for you to get here. What was the name of the coaster that we went on in Florida that was kind of similar to this, a really random one? The Goofy The Barnstormer. The Barnstormer, that's the one. Well done, I'll tell you that you don't really know it. Um, yeah, so it's something similar to that, but we thought we might as well do it because it looks kind of... It just looks fun and colourful. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, Daisy's turned into some kind of mermaid. Is she Ariel? What's happened? Oh, oh, we're gone, we're gone, we're gone. Bye-bye. Woo! Here we go! <laughs> Off to Neverland. Oh. <laughs> oh, I think it was so cute. She even gave us instructions early on how to get to Neverland like quicker and yeah. stuff in London. That was so sweet. But then she's lost her pixie dust. Anyway, we're off, we're off, we're off. on Chippendale's treehouse, which is this thing over here. It looks very cute. I'm very excited as a big fan of Chippendale. Uh, I'm excited to see what the little treehouse looks like. Watch your head. I mean, they've got peanut butter here, one of my favorite things in life. There's a picture of them too. Shoe butter, shoe butter, acorn butter, of course. Why wouldn't they? Picture there, an acorn like kind of lamp. Let's keep going up. This place is quite uh, quite small, not gonna lie. <laughs> Look at that door as well. That's so cute. Guys, this place is pretty small. It was a bit of an effort trying to come up. Are you being serious? Are you actually being serious? Guys, well that's cute, we've just come, we just climbed up. I mean, I guess they're just, they're, they don't really need much, they're just chipmunks. They, they live a simple life. I guess they can just sleep on the floor maybe. They're, I mean, well done chipmunks, I guess you just, you've taught us that it's good to sleep in you know, a simple life. Where's the tortoise? Why the tortoise? <laughs> they taught us and I thought it was a, I was making a joke <laughs> Oh, okay. I was like, what? This is a cool uh, view though, isn't it? Pretty much, I mean... Oh my jokes, I just lost on some people. <laughs> <laughs> How hilarious is she? Thank you. There they are, but it's a cute little house. I'll, I'll give them that. Yeah. I much prefer Nicky and Benice, but... Uh, yeah. You know, you still, you still love well. Well done, chipmunks. So guys, I really love Queen Town. It's just so yeah. colourful and beautiful. And this as well, look at this. It's Mickey Fountain just chilling here. It's like a centre point of it. And it's very nice. I feel like I'm a small person when I'm here, like a little cute, I don't know, I feel like it's, it's very cute and so I feel like I'm in this cute world of happiness and magic and, and wonder, I mean look at everything around me, it's so cute, it's so colourful and I love colours, like again, especially at this time of evening as well, it's lovely. And over here we've got a Roger Rabbit fountain, which is cool, look at it, I'm going to get a bit closer. And we have a look at it together. It was my first time coming to this area actually. We didn't come towards this side uh, yesterday. It's very nice, very peaceful. Roger Rabbit looks hilariously happy. Loving life over there. Next to his ride over there, which is um, the Roger Rabbit cartoon spin, which we're hoping to go on now. Um, I really like Roger Rabbit. He was in that sing along Disney video that I keep going on about. Sorry, guys. Um, but he's quite a big part of it because in the 90s, he was quite a popular thing I guess um, so I just I really want to meet him in fact but I don't think he can maybe he's like a long lost friend or something but anyway let's go and see what this ride is about thank you don't get ideas Rebecca okay well this spins guys and you guys know how much I love spinning right 
and I spotted some Tsum Tsums and I got them because they're really cute they're like park specific ones that I've not seen anywhere else before and I got them and because uh, I love Tsum Tsums you'll see them in the hall um, but then at the counter when I was paying for them the lovely lady was like I just asked her oh do you know like because I couldn't really work out what, what some of the Tsum Tsums were I could tell they were for the park but I, could, I, could, I couldn't work them out so I was like just wanted to double check what they are so she told me and then she asked me if I'm an annual pass holder and I was like, unfortunately not. And I was like, I'm an annual pass holder in Disneyland Paris, just not here. And then she was like, oh, I've heard Disneyland Paris is really nice and stuff. And I was like, yeah, it's lovely, I love it. But it's kind of nice to come and visit the original as well. And she was like, oh, cool. And then I paid and everything. She gave me this bag. And then Rebecca came and joined me. And then she was like, um, just about just before we were leaving, she was like, oh, do you guys know what Pieces of Magic is? Like, have you heard of Pieces of Magic? And I was like, no. And then she literally like, she was like, just because it's your first visit, because she'd seen my first visit badge, she was like, I've got something for you. And then she literally like opened her arms, her, open, opened her hands, sorry. And this was in it. Can you see it? It's a Tinkerbell pin. And considering I've been, I've, I want to collect pins now, I've kind of started collecting pins recently. I just, it's just the cutest thing ever. We just got given this for free. And the lady inside the classroom was called Michelle. So thank you so much, Michelle, at the Toon Town 5 Diamond Store. It's just, it's just little things like this, honestly, is what makes Disney special for me. And I'm gonna cherish this thing forever. I really, I really am. It's just so cute. Sometimes pins like this mean a lot more than like really amazing pins that you might get yourself. So thank you. We're in the Royal Theatre again for the second time today. This time to watch a Rapunzel show. So that should be fun. This is the stage as always. This is our view. Lumia is still on the Lumia is still there, killing. Um, and yeah. Let the show commence. Let the music begin. Yay! I'm so tired, guys, but so excited. So sweaty. I look like so I need to, like four days of sleep. Please welcome those loquacious lovers of legends and love. Our two Those friends again. Viscounts of voluminous verbosity yeah. as they portray a panoply of personalities under this preeminent proscenium. Please welcome Mr. Spike <laughs> there you and go. Mr. Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Hello there. Who are you and the one and only? Today. And we are most delighted you've accepted our invitation to join us in a live performance of your story. Oh, it's my pleasure. After all, who better to tell the story of Rapunzel than Rapunzel? This is going to be such an adventure. Now remember, we are here to assist you in any way we can. 
Should you wish to understand, we shall show you. Yeah, should you want to know what to say, we will tell you. Should you wish to recognize one of us for most outstanding performance by a player in a leading role, drama or comedy, we shall kneel before you and humble and gratitude. I'm sure you'll both be wonderful. Very well then. Are you ready? Yes. Then let the play begin. Once upon a time. Apple Berry. Oh, thank you. It should be noted by all in attendance that Mother Gothel was not Rapunzel's real mother. That's true. I was kidnapped by Mother Gothel when I was blessed to be. And why was Rapunzel kidnapped, ah! Mr. Jones? Because of her magic hair. Yes, which keeps Mother Gothel. The fairest of them all. Ah! 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 Oh, <laughs> Rapunzel, mommy's feeling a bit run down. Why don't you let me brush your hair while Mrs. Smythe sings your magic song? Flowery Whenever I sing the magic song, my hair begins to shiver. Oh, and the glow it cuts Mother Gothel young. It's a special healing power. Safety, my dear, you will never, ever, ever leave this tower, ever! <laughs> Trust me, Rapunzel. Mother knows best. <laughs> <laughs> Rapunzel was determined to see the floating lamp, so she did what any imprisoned 18 year old girl would do. She packed up a frying pan and headed for the window. Looking down, Rapunzel spotted a young man climbing the tower. A stranger! And this young man hauled himself into a tower room. Lords and ladies, a hearty huzzah for Flynn Rider! <laughs> Okay, this isn't weird. Climbing down hair. As they scaled down the stone wall, the stranger introduced himself as Flynn. Flynn Rider. <laughs> and before Rapunzel could say, Talk hairbrush, Flynn! Their feet were on the ground and they're off and running on their new adventure. I can't believe I did this! This is so fun! <laughs> I just hope we don't run into any real feelings. Hoping to end this adventure as quickly as possible. And avoid being arrested by the royal guard, Flynn said, Hey, are you hungry? Because I know a great place for lunch. And thus he led the way to the Snuggly Duckling Tavern. I love this song. Which, as it turns out, <laughs> was filled with ruffians and thugs. Ella! Bloody! <laughs> Look at this mean bunch of ruffians and thugs! Look at that guy with a mustache! Never trust a guy with a mustache! And look at this princess right here! With, yeah, with the snowman? Yeah, I saw her on the kingdom's most wanted list! <laughs> you know what? I think it's gonna be a whole lot safer. We turn you around, and we take you back home! Yeah, what do you say? We'll climb your tower and grab your crown, okay? Excuse me, are you Flynn Rider? Does it look like Flynn Rider? What do you think? Does he look like Flynn Rider? No. Fair enough. Get him! Oh, no. Give me back my stranger! Wow! <laughs> I need him to take me to see the floating lanterns. It's my dream. Don't any of you no. have a dream? I I got a dream. I've got a dream. See, I ain't as cruel and bitter as I see. <laughs> I do like breaking fevers. You can count me with the dreamers. Like everybody else, I've got a dream. I, I got a dream. Well, take it away, Tom Ruffin. I got scars and lumps and bruises And something here that oozes And let's not even mention my complexion But despite my extra toes And me goiter and me nose I really want to make a love connection He's got a dream She's got a dream She's got a dream I just want to see the floating lanterns Floating lanterns Floating lanterns Floating lanterns Floating lanterns Floating lanterns Rapunzel's hair illuminated the water with its magic light, 
and let them out of the cave. Huzzah! Woo! Lords and ladies, the backside of water! <laughs> And it's warm and real and bright And the world is somehow shift on Happily ever after <laughs> So guys, the um, Tangled show was just as good as the Beauty and the Beast one, it was really cute. Uh, it was Flynn and the Rapunzel that we met earlier today, so that was very lovely to see them on stage. And I just love this whole idea, to have this little theatre here, and then the two shows. It's kind of like this kind of fun, funny, light-hearted storytelling of the shows. But yeah, I enjoyed it. There's something really cool that I want to show you right now. This is Rebecca vlogging. Rebecca Cam, look at her. <laughs> look at her. <laughs> this is the thing I want to show you. It's Clopin's music box, and as you guys know, The Hunchback of Notre Dame is one of my favourite films of all time, let alone Disney. And I never see anything um, Hunchback of Notre Dame in any of the Disney parks. I mean, they've got like, like a bit of Hunchback in Disney Disneyland Paris as dreams, but this is so cool because it's just Clopin. That's fine. And there's a kid over here. Look, at, um, she's doing it for me. Look at it. It plays music. It's amazing. It's funny because I've been waiting here for a few minutes, for a while actually. Um, trying to get like a time to be able to use the, um, the music box and there's just so many kids wanting to, to, to you know, play with it and it's fine. I haven't had a chance yet but it's cute because everyone's really happy, like it's just a cute idea for them to be able to do it because it moves here as well. I'm going to wait for her to turn it more. Ooh, is she going to do it? Ooh, there you go. Um, I'm going to do it for you one really quickly. Can I? Yeah, of course you can, do you want to do it? There you go. Guys, it's finally time for our Indiana Jones adventure fast pass. This is the ride over here. The standby queue is like 60 minutes long. We're very lucky. Can't wait. I've heard nothing but amazing things about this ride. It's nothing like the Paris one. It's meant to be completely different. And uh, yeah, it's not a roller coaster, so I'm looking forward to it a lot. Hi there. Got this as well. Thank you. Um, yeah, look at this. 60 minutes. And then there's this. What? Yeah! Guys, the ride got stuck for a bit, so we were in the queue for like 10 minutes, kind of not sure about when the ride would be going on again. But um, yeah, it's working again. And then we got about 40 minutes in before the park closes, so exciting times. I really like this queue line a lot. And I'm so excited. I just, I'm excited, I don't know what to expect, so I'm just like. I'm excited as well because everyone says incredible things about this ride. And I'm not even a big Indiana Jones fan. I generally, as a film, I don't think the films and stuff, I'm not. I mean, I've watched some of them, but I'm not the biggest fan of them. <laughs> Feels weird to be walking again after being just like stood there for a while. Yeah. Oh, I love this. Oh, it's just nice. Woo! into the eyes of this double-dealing deity took a detour to doom. A chilling tale indeed. But not chilling enough to pull off the hot pursuit of thousands of greedy globetrotters. Hello. 
hilarious. I'm really looking forward to it actually. Let's see how this is. Oh boy, 
mean, it looks like these two hippos looks like they want to give us hugs, but I don't want hugs. Everybody, go ahead and cover your ears. Cover your ears. Whoa. Okay, that didn't work. Watch this. I love you. <laughs> see that? Worked in my last girlfriend too. <laughs> Let me see if we can translate that. Uh, you put your right foot in. You put your left foot out. Okay. You turned out for what? <laughs> I don't get it. Oh no, get out, get out, get out! Spear, 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 sp
This is amazing. My battery died for a second, but like I was just as I was saying, I've never been in a hotel room where I can just kind of see Disney fireworks somewhere like this. this is incredible, even though it's not even like official ones. I mean, it is, but it's not like the parks are empty now. Disneyland California Adventure closed at 5 p.m. and it's like 10 o'clock right now, so pretty amazing though. That's so cool. Oh, 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 oh. can you see them on the right? Oh, oh my god. <gasps> Is that even meant to be? Oh my god, what's going on? Rebecca, mm. what is going on? I don't know, it's pretty. It might be a special VIP event. Because you know when we were walking through Disneyland California, how yeah. did you notice? Oh my god! <gasps> wow, wow, wow. Yeah, this, this can't just be a test. Wow. <laughs> Rebecca, can you see it very well? Kind of. Do you want to come a bit like more back, further back? Yeah, because it's not really. Com I mean, there's some inf there's some going on in California Adventure, but this isn't really California Adventure, is it? This is just like you said. It might be a private. I mean, well, what? There's a private event in that hotel. Yeah. I'm gonna have to get a Snapchat really quickly, sir. So. Oh my god, this is insane. This is so exciting. I can't even. This is wow, wow. Oh, I can hear Taylor's all this time. Yeah. <gasps> What's going on? Do you think we can maybe call the reception and ask? I'm really cute. I really want to. I want to know. Literally, guys. <gasps> oh! Can you see it? <gasps> That's so pretty. I'm so excited for like. Oh, actual fireworks later. Oh my god. I feel like it's like New Year's Eve or something. <laughs> Night. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, That's so cute. Yeah. Just so it's just amazing being able to watch it from our random room, <laughs> hotel room, and um, I mean whatever it is, it's Disney. If I, oh, there's some going on over there as well. I mean, Can you actually see them from there as well if you lie down? Uh, not properly. Uh, you can still see, you can still hear them, yeah. I'm so confused. Yo, I'm 100% calling them. They'll definitely explain. Hi there. Um, we were just wondering, what's this firework display going on? Oh, okay, well, a private function thing. Yeah, you were right oh, there. Cool. Oh, okay, they're just really pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> So you, your guess, your guess was right, yeah. That's cool. Well, that's pretty cool. We just experienced some random private, or well, kind of, private fireworks from Disney.